Hello, and welcome to Garblag Games. This is familiar in the Genesis RPG setting. Hello, I am Leon the Games Master. This adventure is called The Trouble with Apprentices. Hi, I'm Colin. I am playing Creasa, the worryingly uh, religious rat. I'm Sam. I'm a spider called Nana. Hi, I'm Roger. I'm playing an otter called Eden. Uh, has everyone got all their cuddly toys? Oh yeah, vitally important. Yes, they are. It's Colin's rat may game. look a bit like a koala. <laughs> it's definitely a rat. He's it's a rat. Master of disguise. He's a rat. I mean, look at the size. It's definitely a rat. It's definitely a rat. <laughs> Koalas would be far bigger <laughs> and angrier. <laughs> Especially when I pick them up and toss them around like that. <laughs> So we're playing a one-shot tonight, uh, most likely going to be a one-shot in the familiar setting uh, for Genesis, the RPG game. Uh, it is a low fantasy type of world, but there are goblins and some other creatures around. It's predominantly humans. This adventure takes place uh, within a wizard's tower. The players are animal familiars that have been raised in their intelligence to help serve their mistress and or master. In this case, their mistress is Mistress Berrycloth, although she will be out for this adventure, leaving our player characters to look after the apprentice while she is away. Everything will be fine. Hail! Why is it all on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that. Okay. <laughs> we do have environment. Uh, damage conditions in the book which I did flag <laughs> just so in case you were just explaining to me about how the dice are different for this because they're the fantasy flight ones yes and so apparently the explosions are good this is the <laughs> Genesis RPG setting which uses uh, narrative dice Weird so dice. lots of colours if any of you are familiar with uh, the fantasy flight Star Wars roleplay game they're very similar very, very similar, almost identical, and the game plays in much similar way. So the dice create a narrative structure of success and failure, so we get to roll based on difficulty, and that helps us tell our story of what we're actually doing, cool. which is useful for me because it's my first time GMing. So the title of this video might just be How Not to GM, <laughs> but luckily I have three very seasoned role players with me who are going to help me out with my narrative dice. Yay! Thanks, guys. And of course... Utter, utter chaos. And utter chaos. <laughs> We're going to be the people that are why Leon will never GM again. <laughs> That's true. If you never see me GM again, this is probably the reason. <laughs> Super prepared. That was the number one thing I read and then ignored. Okay. Um, everyone's already read out their characters, so we know what we're doing. Ish. So we can just get started. Should I read my intro that I made up? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Let's see how this works. Right. And apologies, I know Pete usually wings this, but I had to write it down. It's early afternoon in the tower. Mistress is away for a couple of weeks, seeing to some business in the swamps. Down in the kitchen, you are assisting Giblet, the handy goblin, prepare a delicious soup. Nom nom nom. The peaceful crackle of the flames in the hearth is frequently interrupted by Morgan, the recently acquired apprentice, loudly swearing and complaining. She is making it very clear that she feels cleaning is a waste of time and teaches nothing about magic. There is a loud crashing sound, followed by more swearing. It would appear one of the suits of armour by the entrance has collapsed into pieces as Morgan attempted to dust it. Bugger this for a lark, she screams and storms off upstairs. You and Giblet continue to prepare vegetables for soupy goodness. A few moments later, and Morgan comes down the stairs, a triumphant look in her eyes. Aha, she declares, holding aloft a book with Johann Wolfgang von Goeth written on the cover. I found a spell to help with all this cleaning stuff. Obviously, this is what Master wanted me to really learn. Get frustrated with something hard, give up, and then find an easy magic solution. That's like the moral of every story ever. <laughs> Giblet speaks up. Goblin stories are very different to human stories. <laughs> Morgan stands tall and holds the book open with one hand. Here it is. Giblet looks more panicked. I really don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> Morgan gives her a withering look. Oh, come on, Giblet. It's a cleaning spell. What's the worst that could happen? The tower gets too clean. I mean, it can't get any dustier. <laughs> The rat is standing on whatever raised surface is available, watching with delight and interest. <laughs> she clears her throat and raises a finger to the sky. Traguna. <laughs> Macoides. Tracorum. Satusty. Comment below if you get it. <laughs> the gold light explodes out of her finger, knocking her to the floor. A sphere of brilliant light expands from her through you and beyond the walls and the ceiling of the tower. There doesn't appear to be any less dust. <laughs> Morgan sits up. What happened? Did it work? 
Giblet looks around nervously. There's a clanking sound from the pieces of armour and they start to move and reform. <laughs> a broom leaning against the wall stands up and starts sweeping by itself and a mop and bucket slides over and begins to wipe the floor. It worked! See, I knew it would be fine, says Morgan. Hell! <laughs> then there's the sound of smashing glass from upstairs and Master's bassoon up in the library starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> The mop begins sloshing water over the furnishings and the broom begins sweeping across the shelf, knocking various knickknacks to the floor. Hey, Morgan shouts, but is cut off by two crossed swords over the fireplace, flying across the room and into the gauntlets of suits of armour. Morgan takes a step back, but the suits turn to the front door and with a terrifying kick burst open the door. They then march out of the tower. Morgan turns to Ewing Giblet and says, right, so maybe it hasn't quite worked out as planned. Knives and forks climb out of the drawer and start cutting up the soup vegetables and the chopping board and the sideboard and the chairs and generally whatever they come across. You move away. <laughs> Hell! <laughs> I'll go stop the armour. You figure out how to stop all of this. She goes to grab her coat, but it flies off the hook and flies away upstairs. She shrugs and runs out the door screaming, Die, Geister! <laughs> it's also a reference, but I don't think anyone's going to get that. <laughs> Jubilate sighs with impatience and heads over to the drop spell book. The dispel is bound to be in here somewhere. A rattling from the trap door leading down to the basement causes you to turn. The door clangs open and a dragon rises up. Well, actually it's a kite. But it's shaped like a dragon. Master brought it from overseas for the town New Year celebrations a while ago. It's kind of serpentine, made of about 12 red and gold kite sections with a big head and two clawy paws in the front. And the rest of it's just like a snaky body. Giblet starts to frantically flip through the page of the book, but the kite strings ensnare him, mummy-like, clutching the book close to his chest. It then rises up the staircase, dragging him, the goblin behind it. Giblet looks at you and shouts, SAVE GIBLET! It's unusual for him to refer to himself in the third person, but he's probably quite stressed. <laughs> his head bounces off every step as he's dragged away. His screams stop halfway, so you assume he's unconscious. <laughs> That's kind of where we're going to begin. Now, you guys also know that the tower has a safety mechanism called the Dispel. And the Dispel is a magic bell that dispels all magic in the area, and that is at the top of the tower. So you're in the floor uh, of the tower, basement level, kitchen area, and just kind of an open lobby, and then a staircase leading away upstairs. The broom and the mop are continuing to just slosh about and move things around. There's one staircase leading up the section of the tower it is a classical curved cylindrical tower and that's where giblet and the dragon kite disappeared up to there is more noise from upstairs and the tower seems to be juddering slightly it's just won't like this we should save giblet yes and i'll kind of leap down off the kitchen counter <laughs> okay i think by this point i was on the floor having dodged a few enthusiastic knives <laughs> Flicking around. Nothing seems to be threatening you currently at this moment. I'm going to kind of start running towards the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So as you move scamper, towards the scamper, stairs, scamper. the broom swings across to try to get at you. It's easily dodgeable and it swings and it hits the mop. And then the mop and the broom start having a little sword fight. And you assume that maybe the tower is going to try and stop you or hinder you in some way in your progress. But it does all seem a bit chaotic and uncoordinated. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to sigh and start walking Up along the, wall? the yeah, <laughs> towards the staircase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as you come up the, the first floor, the first floor, as you all well know, is the library. It's definitely the library. I've turned the page over wrong. It is the library, I assure you. <laughs> sure, it's the library. <laughs> Can we see where the kite or, and or giblet are? Okay, so uh, you... <laughs> You hear the kite swoop away upstairs as you reach the library floor. The is I lost my pages. Two seconds. The library is full of flapping books, so it's normally just lined. There's another staircase on the opposite side, so the structure of the tower. So you come up one staircase. The next staircase to go up is on the opposite side. <laughs> Sound effects, yeah. Good phony work for the paper. podcast listeners. So the bookshelves are entirely empty. Books are flapping around everywhere like crazy birds. <laughs> That makes me slightly nervous. There's four pages on Townsfolk who do not make an appearance in this adventure. Did you, did you get a little excited? <laughs> no, but I started writing this in January, so, you know, we're, uh, we're pretty good there. There we go, here's the library. Just so I had knew what I had there. So as you come up, the bookshelves go around the outside of the walls. The books are everywhere, flapping around. Now, as is want of a wizard's tower, there is a secret passage. So the staircase to the next floor isn't actually visible. It's behind a bookcase on the other side. Of course. And you know that the top book, third along, is the one that you push in to open up the magical bookcase. But but all of the books away. are flying around the room right now. 
So we've got to find the right book. Or maybe a book of the right size. You know, I've been too sure of the mechanics. Can of I not just the climb up book, there and try and press it? You could go for that. Yeah. Most of the books are ignoring you as they're just flying around upstairs. Just so just kind of casually, casually, there. slowly, calmly, up and around, and then, yep. Okay, so as you get to the bookcase, and you can see that there is an indentation for the book. Do you want to have to try and fiddle with a lock? Well, I've got enough hands, feet. <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm going to be making my way around in bookcases, because the books don't want to be in the bookcases, so I figure if I'm in the bookcase, then they won't be. Well, they're probably going to ignore you. Uh, I'm going to be looking around, seeing if I can spot what I think is the right book. Okay, so do a perception check for me. Uh, average difficulty. Uh, I succeed, but with two disadvantages. Okay, so a book clomps you around the head. Ow. So you take a strain for that. But you do manage to spot the book with a very distinctive golden spine, quite thin. It's about midway level. It's flapping around with about four other books. And at this point, let's roll some initiative. So everyone make a... You know they're all there, so you're kind of being wary. Cool check. Okay. Cool. Rather than necessarily. Cool. So... One thing I am not is cool. Is presence. And presence, is it just one green? It's... How many presents have you got? One. And do you have anything in cool? No. Oh, that's not so you roll that. One green. Excellent. Same as me. I have an explosion. Apparently that's good. Explosions are good. Excellent. So two. one success, two advantages. Three successes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Not bad, but two dice. <laughs> so it's you three, then, uh, a, then the books. a cluster of books are going to go. Only a few <laughs> of them. The rest of them are kind of ignoring you. Good. So there's lots of flocks, but they seem to be ganging up and flipping around. You are all over the place. So well, you get the impression that the books look like they're about to menacingly move towards a cute furry hunter. Well, I got two advantages. I'm going last. Oh, well, you can decide. So in oh, we're doing Genesis that, we're doing initiative, that one. Okay, you kind yes, of uh, yes. roll for initiative with the characters, mm-hmm. and then you can decide amongst yourselves who actually gets to take those positions. Right. Yes. Okay, cool. Sorry, I don't know why I just assumed it was you. Thank you for I have no idea. <laughs> Because so, you're the first, and it goes around. That, that is why. I was thinking entirely in board game terms. It's like, it's always Take it in to your left. Yeah. I, I think possibly allowing the person who's about to get attacked to have the first initiative probably makes sense. I, I'm just sort of scampering around the outside and okay. trying uh, so to avoid attention. Is the right book close to me? No. It, as you notice, it is over on the other side of the room, flapping around. It's probably closer to Manny. Okay, I'm actually going to dash across the floor. I'm assuming otters are quite quick. Yes. And I'm actually going to take cover on, on the bottom shelf of a bookcase. Because okay. I figure they're not going to want to kind of flap into that. There's yep. not a lot of space. That is, that's quite so we're all that, hiding that's in basically was my, my, my <laughs> plan for getting to the other side in the first place. I've never seen you not like go for a fight before. Um, You've I'm, never seen him play an otter before. I'm, I'm not Magrick, I'm Eden. <laughs> I gave you teeth. <laughs> Also, if you do to play the familiars, we invented the character, the otter. That's not one of the stand ones within the book. So yeah, that's my action. <laughs> cool. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you could probably do a bit more if you want, because that's just kind of a manoeuvre. In terms of range bandings, it sort of short range is half the tower base and then the other half, so... Okay. Um, but, well, I mean, but take cover To be honest, a, take, I am. Just, yeah, taking I'm cover I'm basically kind action. of hide, getting into the corner, yep. so I'm as hard to get at as possible. Oh. Very, very nice. They're um, uh, like over there. I'm trying to press this switch with probably six so legs. They go after one of us. Uh, no, so they get cut. So I think Pete does it differently for. Did he do a Genesis space game? Star Wars. For when he did Star Wars one, so I think he did an alternation. Whereas I'm going to okay. try and play the actual Genesis rules. Okay, cool. Sorry, cool. My bad. Fine. Okay. If um, I'm wrong, tell me, because that, that's talking yeah. to the viewers, not Com- you guys. Comment below. Yeah, comment below. <laughs> Constructive criticism, welcome. Okay, so you're going to carry on poking things. Yep. I'm going to go and try and... I'm, I'm trying to make my way over to where Nano is, because I might get hard with poking things. You're going to make your way to what, sorry? Where? Oh, where? Okay, yeah. cool. Again, st- sticking to the uh, sticking to the bookshelves, only coming out when I run out of bookshelf. Cool. Did you want to have a roll to fiddle about with the lock button? Well, given that it's a lock... And given that we each have one spell, yeah. and my one spell is lock slash unlock, 
Could I do that? It's quite a complicated lock, and it is for more simple locks. You can okay. give it a go, though, Well, I, otherwise you... I can carry on, like, lock-picking it with my many, many legs. Many legs. Yeah. <laughs> but you can have a go at the magic if you want, see if that makes it easier How for you. How does that work? So, you're going to make an arcana check, which is intelligence. Excellent. So, if you've got arcana... So, I have intelligence... I have intellect one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's arcana. No, I do not have bottom. arcana at the bottom. No. no. Okay, so you'll get one green dice. I have one green dice. And it's difficulty easy to cast the spell. So, that's one... Two that's explosions. You roll one, one of them. Oh, okay. Two bad things. Two, so two success. Happens. No, two successes, two threat. Two successes, two threat. Okay. So Those are not the type that cancel each other. Oh, okay. That's the type that cancels out. There. Gotcha. So, as you fiddling about with your legs yep. and working your magic at the same time, you do hear some of the lock mechanisms start to go. Yep. And you feel it's probably going to be easier to open. Yep. But it's not actually open right now. Mm-hmm. However, you're going to take, uh, take a strain because you've uh, trapped your legs in the yep. mechanism a little bit and that okay. stressed you out. Everyone else, jump in on the narrative as well if you want. By the way. <laughs> You can think cool. of what it is. Because <laughs> it's a nice collaborative system. So, yes. Lockpicking spider. I'm, I'm taking, I guess I'm probably taking two manoeuvres to carefully work my way around to yep. Nana without um, exposing myself to being attacked as yes. best I can. As so you feel like some of the books are starting to notice you a lot more now as well. Mm. You feel like they're waking up and are a bit more aware. So there's another group of three starts to come cool. Well, I'm hoping I can put my skullduggery to use soon to try and open this <laughs> oh. lock. Seems like the most appropriate skill I can see on this list. Who knew that rats were Skullduggers? Definitely would. Okay, so this group of flapping books <laughs> is diving down and going to go for our fluffy little otter friend, <gasps> despite being so cute. So, first combat. Right, okay. I draw my lightsaber. No, way. <laughs> I will squeak at them. There you go. That's what they get. Does that make me grievous? And you're <laughs> ducking you have the guarded, arms. so they get a setback. Actually, you've got too many arms, I think. <laughs> and standard medium is difficult. So. I'll keep the stairs in my pockets. <laughs> you have pockets now? Definitely. They, awesome. <laughs> they fail, but they got advantage. So they didn't do you for any damage, but the flapping's quite flurry and quite scary. So you're going to get a setback on the next check if you do in that within that area. If you get away from that, then okay, you're fine. Okay. So they're just flapping and flustering around you. They make me kind of creep back, back yeah, into the... And maybe I'll just alcove. stay here. <laughs> and we'll go around, but there's going to be another two groups of books now getting involved as well. Okay. They start to take notice of you guys. You notice them start to like... Well, I'm, I'm going to try and get this lock open if I can help with getting the lock, lock open. Okay. So, go for fiddle with a lock. What are you going to use? What skills are you I, going to I, I think skullduggery seems like the most appropriate skill on this list for picking a lock. Okay, so you're going to go for it. Skullduggery open the lock. Go for... Uh, <laughs> says like that's a word. It's going to be hard. Okay, so, so, three. three. Okay, so because I have skullduggery of two and cunning of three, that means I've got two yellow, one green, and three purple. Ooh. I want to eat quality straight. <laughs> that is... There's a green triangle. Oh, right. I was wondering <laughs> where that came from. And a purple one. <laughs> okay, that is two successes, two threat. Two successes, two threat. Two. Okay. Yeah. So you hear the locking mechanism clank again, and you're very... Oh, um, do you want to have a boost on that as well? Because it was already partially helped to open as well. Three successes. Okay, so you hear and the mechanism successfully clank and open. You do trap your little rat paws, uh, so you take <clears> a strain on that one. You manage to skullduggerously find a toothpick that had been discarded up there and then use that to wedge into it to help open up and pretend that there was a book on the shelf. Yep. And you hear a clanking and the bookshelf begins to open and the books get a lot angrier about this and start flurrying around a lot more. But the bookshelf does open up and it leaves a pathway open. You can see the staircase going upstairs. Cool. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Yep, open and down and round. So you're going to run straight, <laughs> straight through? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, yep, that's fine. They're not going to be able to get to you in time. <laughs> it is too small and sneaky. I'm kind of penned into a corner here, yeah, so I haven't got a lot of choice. I'm going to bite the one in front of me. <laughs> Go for it. Um, yeah, I don't roll anything on this, do I? It's not a post nope. thing. Too used to woof up. <laughs> I'm going to aim my bite. Um. Oh, yeah, you uh, use brawl. You already got that, yeah. Yeah. So, so I have three th- uh, three threat, but two successes. 
three threat, but two successes. Okay, so two successes. <laughs> You've definitely yeah, got their good. attention. So, uh, if you notice something curious I, when you hit. So it's three damage because I get plus one. Oh, for and, and it has pierce one. Ah, okay, very cool. So, what you notice happen when you hit them? <clears throat> you don't think you actually hit them hard enough because you can't destroy a book in one go. <clears throat> but as you bite down onto one of them as it comes into you you notice an orange spark flash out of it and it just falls limp and prone at the floor and then you quickly <coughs> savagely snap at the other two that are there and they both fall out of the sky with this orange spark coming out of them so it looks like you don't necessarily have to maybe destroy them but maybe if you hit them hard enough you can knock, knock the animation the, man- knock the magic out of, out of them this orange spark just flies <coughs> the books lie limp on the floor so all three of them down okie dokie go you uh, uh, other books. How far are you from the door? I'm in a corner on a bookcase, so you guys just legged it and I'm in the room. <laughs> There's only one. Room. I haven't legged it yet. I didn't realise you were that I far haven't, away. I haven't, yeah. I'm not that far, but I'm okay. in a corner, so. Okay. Back into a corner. Yes. So you've legged it onto the staircase, so you're just outside Nana's the gone. room. You're still up by the locking mechanism. Yes! So the I other set of books are going to swoop in for you with much flurrying. Ah. And uh, <coughs> more terrifyingly, the book that comes after you has a picture of a cat on it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sadist. <laughs> so, uh, wait. I don't know what that which one that one is. So yeah, that's the that one. Yeah, setback thing, not setback yeah. threats. So not failure. Oh. So, so it does hit one damage. One damage. Ow! And that's it. So the book just clumps you as it comes out. Is that modified by soak? Uh, it will be. What is your soak? Well, probably one. It should be your... Your one. one. So one. one. Yes. Okay, so one. nothing. So the book just Yay. clumps you in the face. Ah! It's a cat. Startles your whiskers. But does no actual further damage and then flutters off. As they just fly back into a mess. Um, I have a question. Go for it. If the dragon kite kidnapped Giblet right. and flew off with him, yeah. has Where it this gone is... this way? Because how did it get through the secret door? So you do know it couldn't have gone out of the windows on the tower because right. there are vines that protect up the tower and you can only enter or exit through the front door and a window on the bottom ground floor. Okay. That's how messenger's coming. It's like a, an assassin's defence. People want to kill wizards. So it can't have gone out of the windows. Right. You think maybe the secret door was left open? Okay. Maybe? Maybe it slammed shut with all the books flapping around and... You could try and investigate and look for signs. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Do you go for perception? Uh, actually, I think I do. I have perception two based on cunning, of which I have three. So I get two yellow and one green. That is yes. correct. See, I'm paying attention. Yeah. And, and what's the difficulty? Um, average check. So, so that's two, two, two purples. purples. Some. I got two of those, those and two ca- of those, that so that's out. nothing. That's so, a bad and that's a good. Yeah. So that's one trial. success. Three success, but it is a triumph. One success a tri- from the tri- which is the triumph, yeah. and a threat. Okay. The dragon kite definitely came this way. It's like ribbon You tails. can see bits of stream yep. caught in the staircase and one of Giblet's tooth. <gasps> Teeth? Tooths. Teeth. One of his tooths. <laughs> Goblins have tooths. Is embedded in the staircase. T W F S. You would recognise that tooth anywhere. It's got his name written in it. <laughs> so All you right. definitely know the dragon kind. Just so he knows I will, his tooth. I will collect it. You to collect give it, the tooth. To give it back to him later. Okay, so you carry yeah, your. You've got enough it. arms. Yeah, yeah, he might want it. Yeah, he might need his tooth back. <laughs> He's got his name on it. Yeah. If, you, if you had a microscope, you see written on the other side is, if found, please return to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Giblet the wizard's tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, books. It is books, is it? Or no? I don't know. Turn? Possibly one of us. No, I'm a bit lost. It might be the turn. books. I think it is the books. Okay. I think the otter has not been attacked by books this turn. Not yet. But he will be. Oh, no, those three died. Okay, so the minion group uh, on the other side is going to flat back away from you. They're the just one with the cat. Nap. <laughs> they are. Magic knocked out of them. They're going to flat back away from the rat friend because they've already hit him and found he's impervious to cat books. So they're going to go for the otter. Um, so I get that one. I don't imagine the otter probably minds and much you get about the cat books either. As well. And a setback there. 
them still in the corner. Nothing. <laughs> they may as well have flown in the other direction. That, that's just a fistful of disadvantages. So they were coming for you, and then they saw a book that had a picture of an otter on it, and they diverted and went for that way. So they're not actually there. No, they're not actually there or in <laughs> your way. They got distracted. Cool. They did. Can we both one, one, uh, one of them bumped into another book and had the magic knocked out of it. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so I'm going to take the opportunity to kind of dart through the yep. the gap. Go for it. Run away, they've got cats! <laughs> the book seems to just flurry back in circling around and are completely ignoring you. Yeah, I'm just going to b- bound away. Brilliant. So you guys progressing up the stairs? Yes. Okay, on to the third floor, which is, as you well know, because you live in this tower. Yeah. I put these the over there so hole. that I wouldn't pick them up again. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming pool. Yeah. Awesome. The second floor is the workshop, ah, the which workshop. is obviously the safest place to be when everything is animated. Um, <laughs> for a given definition of safe. So the workshop it has pretty much standard workbenches in the middle of the floor, so like two long tables and then worktops around the outside of it. This floor is loud and cacophonous. Lots of noise, lots of crazy stuff going on. Nails are seem to be running around the room, marching up on endpoint, being chased by hammers, which are kind of smashing them into the ground. <laughs> there are saws on the other side of the room, soaring and hacking into the staircase at the other end. They're probably not going to bring the staircase down, but they're doing it some damage if you left it for long enough. They're clearly trying to cut the staircase down. Um, what else have we got in this room? So there are hammers about the place, nails, saws on the far <laughs> side. Um, otherwise, there's kind of general workshop bric-a-brac. A lot of stuff doesn't seem to be animated. There's like pliers on the walls, things like that, like a vice up there. This is where the master does a lot of woodworking and any kind of metalworking required. So, yes, this is room. Everything seems to be ignoring you currently. I'm going to try and sneak around. We're going to try and area. sneak. Stealth. Why okay. does my rat not have stealth? Because you're a gatherer. <laughs> oh, I do. I also don't have stealth. <laughs> I am a sneaky spider. I shall, I shall also... Do that. Okay. Who would like to try it? And Maybe you're a friendly first. rat. I'm kind of, you know, eager and enthusiastic. Just kind well, of start moving. So I want to I'm help. Spider. I want to help uh, Gib- Giblet because right. Giblet's my friend. Giblet's awesome. I like Poor Giblet. Giblet. <laughs> I do not help Giblet. Giblet. You do not help Giblet. <laughs> oh my God! I'm just you failure. shout, Giblet, we're coming for you. <laughs> what's, what's the difficulty of a stealth? Stealthy stealth stealth. Let's just make this one average. I think I knocked something over in my. <clears throat> Eagerness. <coughs> right. I got one failure. Things seem to be taking notice of you. Awesome. I get one failure and an advantage. So, okay, so things are taking advantage of you, but you saw that they were taking notice to you. So I have two agility, but I have two stealth, so, so I have two yellows, and yeah. then I need a purple one. Two, two purple. purple. Two purple ones. That is basically the same. No, that's wait, that's two not successes, the same. Two successes, two disadvantages. Two disadvantages. So... Uh, no one knows you're there, but you're kind of going a longer way around, so you haven't taken a very direct route. Patient. Yes. Okay, uh, we should probably roll some initiative on this. This was like my combat floor. <laughs> um, so, you got spotted and you got spotted. Yep. So, I need to roll. So, another discipline check. Approximately, um, since we know. Discipline, uh, cool. Yeah. Still one it's die. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Since we know, obviously, because we live here, how many floors would we imagine might be in this tower? You imagine, depending on how fast an adventure was going, that there would be five or four floors. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, above the workshop, uh, you've then got the... Something else. The chemistry lab. <laughs> okay. Above the chemistry lab is the bedrooms, and then above them is the oh. observatory. And the observatory is the top floor in the room. I'm making it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I know where we are. So the, the laboratory is the next floor. Bedrooms and then the observatory. Excellent. So cool. I'm going to come and, uh, ooh, hammer did well. <laughs> <laughs> Did one say that it's hammer time? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Nails. Well, can't touch this. <laughs> Nails also did well. The nails are totally on our side, right? Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. And the other nails. One. Okay. So what did everyone get? I got three and an advantage. Oh, three's pretty good. One and an advantage. I was definitely doing that and not drawing pictures. Palmer, 
Cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. Presence. Yeah, Presence. Yeah, that. And so just one green. I got an explosion. One so, success. One success. Okay. So, Eden the Otter. You or one of us. Outreact. Or one of you, sorry. I keep doing that. I'll get used to the system. Yeah. So, it's well, going to go... It's the reason John changed it for the, for the Star Wars game. You guys, two baddies. You guys, baddies. <gasps> baddies? Have they got skulls on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I hope so, not, because if they've got skulls on, that means they're far too high level for us. So I'm assuming I've noticed <coughs> that I've been spotted. Um, yes. Okay, so is there like so a the hammer, hammer or something coming for So me? what you see, at the other side, the hammer's not coming for you, it's turned towards you, and you see it flick up a nail, and it tries to hit, and it just kind of falls into the ground right in front of him. So it seems to be messing around with nails, but it's definitely got intent towards you. Okay, I'm going to try and pounce on it, so I'm going to kind of bound along and try and bite it, and I hope it has the same effects as it did on the books. Cool. Uh, go for a combat one, that's fine. So you mean standard uh, difficulty? Standard difficulty. Uh, so a success and a disadvantage. One success and a disadvantage. You've got pierce as well. I you? do pierce one, and I do plus one, so two damage, because I've got Plus one on my bite. Cool. So, <laughs> I, I, I have my damage is zero. <laughs> you notice there is another hammer further away as well. So you you hit the hammer and it reels, but it, it still looks very animated. Can I try and cling on because I've got hands? <laughs> got tiny little animal claws. Uh, they're very good at gripping things. <laughs> yep, but the hammer is made to be gripped by a human, <laughs> so <laughs> you, you can try and cling. <laughs> so uh, as a kind of grappling, I guess, isn't it? So, um, yeah, what Process, skills have you got? Um, athletics. I go for coordination. Coordination, yeah, no Because worries. you're trying to stop it from moving. Uh, and let's do it as an opposed check as well. So, uh, what is your coordination? It's agility, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, take one purple die. <laughs> I succeed with two disadvantage. <laughs> so, you do manage to clomp it, but it bops you kind of slightly so uh, take a strain for that one but you are hindering it so it will be set back if it tries to do that yeah I'm just trying to cl- cling on to it yes so you have you know I'm just grabbing onto like rocks and things set the hammer back yeah, set back okay uh, that hammer's gonna go it's gonna try and hit you but it's it's very hindered now so it's gonna set back so uh, it's only the one <coughs> So it gets that. Hammer swings, but it's got no room to actually get any leverage or anything. That's a lot of symbols. Let's see what we can <laughs> Come on, despair. One damage to you, but you got soak. I do. So it swishes down in your tail, but <gasps> it misses your tail. It just hits your fur. Can I kind of eek out? <laughs> it's the shock of it more than anything. <laughs> As I'm desperately clinging on to this and there is a layout, flailing like, hammer. <laughs> Which is going crazy. Uh, some nails, though, are going to try and help out their hammer frenemy. <laughs> They're definitely frenemies at this. So, a tiny group of nails are going to come up to you, and they are going for. There we go, that's them. So, they were near the hammer being hit. They jab towards you, sword like, and. Oh, one of them does stab slightly in your paw. So that's it's one damage again, though. So <laughs> your, your otter fur manages to I mean, blast against that. And yeah, no advantages. Cool. So that was those nails. You guys. The damage scale on this is a lot less than I'm used to in this system. <laughs> I tried to play test some of this, but it was like. It's because we're not using lightsabers. <laughs> these are also very, be like little things. <laughs> we're not yeah, using we're, lightsabers. We're not, we've shot that by. We're small animals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think the original one I did when I played this was like, oh, let's see what they can do. It's like, oh, they can't do anything. <laughs> it's like, that's going to have to become easier. So. <laughs> okay. Um, which one of us up next? Who would like oh. to go? So, what we've got going on, you can see Roger flailing around with a hammer and some nails yep. coming after Eden, him. Eden's doing some workshop time. <laughs> yeah. There's another group of nails. Well, everything's coming for you because they've not spotted you at all. They don't know where you are. You is sneaky, sneaky. That's how I like board. it. So then there's two other sets of nails and they have four nails in each group and they seem to be marching towards you. Little rattling. Ma! <laughs> They're like, gangrene. <laughs> 
the okay. bassoon is still playing somewhere upstairs. <laughs> Soundtrack's getting really irritating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what would you like to do? I'd, 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 I'd like to run away. <laughs> oh, you do notice the other hammer as well seems to be starting to be getting engaged, but it's not paying attention to you. It's looking at the other hammer. So you're going to run away? Uh, I'm, 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 I, my, my combat skill is roughly sod all. Yes. <laughs> so you can still see the saws are hacking away at the staircase as well. So I'm, I'm basically just going to... Be, so I, what I do have is coming. So my intention is to lead the um, hammer, nails? hammer nails, the nails, the nails that are following me, and the hammer if I can get it to follow me too, um, on a bit of a chase around the thing, hoping that I can move faster than them, so then I can leg it up the stairs. Oh, and okay. Distract them away. They're not that intelligent. So, so yes. Uh, to try and trick them, do you want to go for an opposed cunning check? Sure. Have you got a skill you think would lend to itself to that? Because <laughs> the nails definitely don't. Streetwise? <laughs> Survival? Streetwise? Yeah, I don't know. Or more skullduggery? Or more skullduggery. Probably streetwise or skullduggery make the most sense. Go for some skullduggerousness. Or deception. Oh, deception. Ooh. Is there deception? There is. There is deception. Oh, there's deception. I have no points in deception. so But it is the most appropriate skill. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll them. Oh, so because you're trying to do the two... So you do want to try to see all of them at once, or just one group of nails first? I'll see how many I can get to... So it's nails and the hammer, so it'll be one difficulty for each group to do all set. So it'll be three purple for all three. Go for it. Okay. All in. Uh, how quick are you? Not quick enough. <laughs> Find out. Go. Oh, Two quick. successes, one disadvantage. One flat. Two successes, one disadvantage. Okay, so <clears throat> the hammer and one group of the nails definitely falling for it. They're coming for you. And the nails kind of line up behind you and the hammer lines up behind the nails. The hammer's probably chasing the nails, not you. <laughs> just very lured. The other nails just kind of start to wander around in a circle. They just get confused and they're just spiralling by themselves. Okay. But you do have a little conga line now. Just your tail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's fine, I don't have a tail. <laughs> Look, I don't have a tail. Apparently. Strange looking rat. Yes. <laughs> so I will give the nails a uh, setback on attacks against you because you fully know where they are. Yes. And they, they are, you are the Pied Piper of nails. Right? <laughs> Hail! Hail the metallic conga. Hail the nails. <laughs> I like how the nails. Sam. Hello. What would you like to do, Sneaky Spider? Well, do I... Can I see any more, any anything of um, the dragon or um, giblet, like, up ahead? Is there any more evidence it's of them? Definitely not on this floor. You can try and investigate again and look for Do my companions seem to be in any immediate difficulty? Uh, the other hammer's now been distracted by the wiles and cunning of the rat. So Eden the Otter seems to be managing with a hammer. Like, they're, they're dancing, <laughs> but the otter's fur seems he's, to be providing ample playing. protection. Right? Yeah, that's what he does. Squeaks of delight. He, he <laughs> makes, he makes, yeah, he's enthusiastic, makes quite a bit of noise, but he's generally... If a modern human saw it, they would film the otter before they helped the otter. <laughs> to put it over to be like, I understand. Really so I shall oh, continue. I could be in mortal danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, then if that's all kind of being handled, then I shall continue to look for our goblin friend. Okay. Yes. From where you are vantage-wise, or do you want to move elsewhere um, in the room? Probably just keep moving around. Around the ramp yeah. towards the staircase. Because, you know, this convenient curved wall. There is a very nice, convenient curved yeah. wall. It's very good for spiders. Okay, uh, if you like to do a perception check. Uh, yes, okay. So we're back here again. It was coming. coming. Yep, so it's one of those. You have and all of the of eyes, those. hence you're good. That's fine. And two purple? Yes. I keep forgetting the purple ones. Things! Oh, that, looks good. Good. that is pretty good. Two successes, two advantages. Two success, two advantage. Brilliant. What were you just saying about all the eyes? Yeah, it's all the eyes. If you had any strain, you can heal a strain as well, because so uh, focused yes, on you have I a strain. Did. 
no you do find evidence of it. You can see caught up uh, in the saw been, blades that are on the staircase. Yep. You can see some of Giblet's goblin hair. <gasps> it's definitely his ear hair. He hasn't got any hair on his head. Okay. And maybe some more teeth. He, yeah. I might collect the teeth, but I'm not collecting the rest of it. And more strands of string from the dragon kite have been yep. left behind on the staircase. I'm sure that the dragon won't mind. Probably not. Probably not as much as um, Giblet. The saws look like one of them is about to really cut through uh, one of the steps, though, to make it a bit harder. Mm. Probably not for you to climb, because you're a spider, but maybe your companions might struggle more. <laughs> Bring them over here! <laughs> you to repair the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they're following you... Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> It's the other hammer bag I guess to go in. So he's very distracted at you. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually going to try and make a discipline check for the hammer to see if he goes for the nails and <laughs> decides to try and go for you. His cool. discipline isn't great. Yay. Can I get a skill check on discipline? It is intelligence, isn't it? Discipline, discipline is will. willpower. Oh, it's willpower. Okay. Let's make this hard. I give him a setback because you were tricking him. I think he failed. He fails. He <laughs> goes for some of the nails and he hammers two of the nails chasing you into the floor. Awesome. So you have two less nails chasing you. I like that because that's my best chance of dealing with these things. <laughs> yes. If I can get to deal with each other, that's probably about the best I can do. Okay. And background to, well, whoever wants to go. Do you guys? Uh, do you want? Yeah, go for or it. Or the hammer goes for me. I'm you gonna, missile that hammer. I'm going to bite the hammer. And because I'm still clinging on to it with my manoeuvre, if I'm successful, I'm going to try and bring the hammer down in between the nails. Bring the hammer me. down! <laughs> Basically, I'm going to just try and bring the hammer between myself and the nails to make it harder for them to get to me. Okay, cool. Uh, go for like the average melee. Are you about to drop the hammer? <laughs> oh. That looks like a lot of success. success. So it's one of each, uh, a success and an advantage. So that's another two damage, though, is it? Another two damage with this one. Cool. So you successfully use it to block to hinder all the nails coming up. It looks weakened, but the hammer's still pretty sturdy and weighty. Oh, so it's still... It's still riding about all underneath right, you. Hand's still on it. It's definitely weakened. Can I recover a strain with my advantage? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can do all the standard kind of combat things in Genesis. So. Cool. Which I do forget about, because there's so many of them. I've got them here on my handy They're lovely handy screen. screen. Yes. But it's a lot of words. And then I realise I'm just staring reading. Well, I should probably be narrating. Mm. Righty ho then. That was me. Um, baddies. <laughs> so the initial hammer's going to go. No, the initial hammer just went, didn't he, for you? No. No? This is a new round. It is initial hammer, new round. Hammer the first. But I'm going to give him a setback. Bonky pinned him. Not that that mattered. <laughs> No. Oh, we got a triumph, oh, though. Oh, oh. oh, no, but you got two fails. So <laughs> the triumph, the triumph does could, something. So you'll so probably break free, I'm guessing. Yes. So he has managed to wriggle his way no out holding it. as he managed to twist. And his claws yeah. were greater than your claws as he pulled through. It is no longer hammer time. It is still hammer time. <laughs> it's um, just the wrong just... kind of hammer time. <laughs> uh, other set of nails. They were the ones that are trailing you. Are uh, gonna go. Okay. So, gonna go two rem- two surviving nails. Yes, there's only two of them now. So nails are nails are weak. <laughs> nails are not nails. <laughs> nails are weak. That's what they do. <laughs> and set back because you are guiding them. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> is that a success and all the threat? A success and all of the threat. <laughs> so okay. So it's gonna land for one damage. I was so going to get soak. that. Uh, and with that much threat, I'm going to say they both nail themselves to the floor so they can't move <laughs> <laughs> as they just dive so in. So they were that threat. enthusiastic. Wow, like, that's, a, that's, all that's a lot of, of threat. threat. That's a lot of threat. One success, five threat. And they're probably going to get in the way of the hammer chasing you as well. <laughs> and the nails that are going for me. Yeah. Yes, so they are still uh, four strong. So they get. Uh, that's one more. I'm trying to work this out. Do, do, do. That's what they get. Okay, so they got a yellow and two green because there's four of them. 
and you get a minion stack ability. Um, the hammer broke free, didn't you? It did, so it's not in the way anymore. Uh, two success, four advantage. Oh, no, no, sorry. So, two success, two advantage. So, two damage. I soak it. Oh, you and your cute otter hide. <laughs> so much fluff. <laughs> As the nails just go through and they land between your paws. <laughs> that's, that's where they're going wrong. They don't know where the, I am and my <laughs> fur ends. Exactly. You're just too squishy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> made of floof. They are I am made of floof because I'm I'm dry, so it's one. all floofy. <laughs> is, you're not wet yet, <laughs> yet. So they get one advantage on that. You guys again? <laughs> um, I'm I'm, I'm I'm going to run up towards the stairs because Nana said that I should get them to come up towards. The, I can't get the nails up here, but maybe I can get the hammer to hit the saw or something. I don't know. I'm going to run up towards the stairs. Might be able to. You going to try and be skullduggers to get the hammers to I'm, I'm gonna try, the saws? I'm going to try and get the. I'm going to skullduggers. I'm going to dugging skull, some skulls. Dugging some skulls. Dece- deception is what we went with last time, actually. Yes. Not skullduggers. Right. Oh, was, is it? What's uh, the difficulty? It was only opposed, wasn't it? So the hammer is just one purple. Some. One success. Them. One success. <clears throat> so you run over towards the staircase and the hammer does come towards you. You also notice the saws are still not paying any attention to you. Yeah. They're definitely animated, but they seem to be happily just digging away into the staircase. Right Coming along. And the hammer comes towards you. Uh, Join you on the stairs. Cool. Well done. I'm going to try and get on the get the saw in between me and the hammer. So now that hammer is going to go, I believe. <laughs> Turn on. I duck under the saw. I'm going to go for behind, behind. to work uh, under oh, the saw. I was, actually, I was yeah. assuming, yeah. some reason I assumed it was going that way. Oh, not they're that. kind of at all weird angles. Okay, really behind the saw, yes. <laughs> not not like in the way of the saw blade. That, that would be silly. <laughs> Very silly. So you know what you were saying about not having a tail? <laughs> Have you had an accident in the workshop he, before? That's why he doesn't have a tail. <laughs> the hammer is confused about who to go for. It feels equally strongly about hitting the saw and splatting the rats. And in its indecisiveness, it just kind of stands there. Okay. It just worryingly turns. I should have got the war hammer. It just worryingly turns. <laughs> Well, I'm intending to go up the stairs and get out the way of this because. Ah! Nanny? I am not in the way. <laughs> you are not in the way. No. Um, so, having collected some more teeth. Yes. Go I... with stealth, though, because I want to see if the saws notice you. Okay. So, apparently, I am actually fairly stealthy. But you are pretty stealthy. So. <laughs> Uh, agility two, stealth two, so two yellows, and then how many purple? Uh, average two. Two purple. Some. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so, so that cancels. Bad. That cancels. You get and then I think that, from the triumph, so that cancels one of them. So it's one failure and the tr- and the the and cool the stuff triumph. of the triumph. Okay, so one of the saws notices, yeah, but it's not going to go for you because it's just like, ah, oh, you're not wood. I can't. Ah, <laughs> uh, correct. You. I am not. <laughs> it's like I have no interest in sawing you. So he notices you. There's not a lot of like flat areas on a spider. It doesn't doesn't no. care. It's just like uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. Saw 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 saw. Okay. So, so, so. okay. Excellent. Um, when did we get to you? That was you guys. So then. I shall wait on the wall then for the others to Is that go. all of us? Have I written I this think down? That's everyone? everyone, yeah. I everyone? think that's everyone, yeah. So back round to the top again, which is our otter friend. Oh, no, yeah. no, it's you, you guys. You guys, but, but I think it's the otter because the rest of us are running away. Okay, I'm well, going to try and bite the hammer again and try and force it down again in between myself and the nails. Okay, go for it. You can do it. Two successes and two disadvantages. Okay, so you slam the hammer down, the magic comes out of it. Yay! Yay! You have successfully knocked the the hammer out of that hammer. Uh, The disadvantages, though, uh, you've over-exuded your little otter body as you slammed it down. So uh, I think you're going to have to take an action if you want to move this turn. You're not going to do it on a move. Because you... That was very decisive. Yeah. You haven't taken any strength. Oh, okay. Yet. So I put the hammer in between myself and the nails, but I can't move. Yes. Cool, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Oh, there you go. 
You have dropped the hammer. The nails are going. And there's. How many left? You got two of them, didn't you? Uh, no, I haven't no, touched I the hammer. Went from... No, you didn't. No, no, that was, that was mine. your ones. I, th- I think all of his nails are stuck or gone. They're all <laughs> still there for me. <laughs> that was it. So it should be. But there's now a hammer in the way. And there is setback for the hammer in the way. Oh, lots of fail. Mm. One, two, failed. They got nothing. They all hit the hammer. So they were coming for you, and the hammer came down, and they just went, and just stabbed into the wooden body of the hammer. You successfully shielded yourself. Cunning, worthy of a rat. So I knew having hands would be useful. Yes. Tiny, grippy hands. I really thought one of you would want to be a raccoon, and I can't believe that a raccoon isn't a standard option. Well, I do have somewhat grippy hands, too. Yeah. 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 Otters have got very good manipulative yes. fingers, though. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Overrated. <laughs> Why are fingers when you just have all of the legs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, to you guys next. Most things are going out. Scamper. 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 Right. Scamper. Go for stealth, though. I want to see if the saws notice you. Stealth. Why do I not have stealth? Watch that tail. Why, Why do I not have stealth? That looks tasty to saws. Oh, things. One success, two threat. Okay, again, the saw notice you. just doesn't care. Oh, no, it doesn't notice you. You succeeded. I succeeded. You snapped through. The saw but turned the and thought it heard something, but it didn't. <laughs> Let's so say you have to take a strain for exuding yourself for your stealthy <laughs> efforts. You yeah. had to quickly duck out of the way as a saw came out to have a what you assume is a look. <coughs> you don't have eyes, but what you think a saw's eyes might be. <laughs> if it had eyes, that was what, that would where it would hold them. I, I'm confused. I, I'm <laughs> up the stairs. It's just a simple way. Yep. You don't need this. <laughs> um. Now has been. I got nothing else left. Yeah, it's you guys spider, did, so. I think. I'm just oh. waiting for you guys to catch up, and yeah. maybe keep an eye on things and looking a bit further up. You can creep further up if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll scout ahead. Okay, so coming on this floor, this is the chemistry lab. Mm-hmm. It is kind of scary. So again, there's kind of workbenches around the side. There's actually shelving all the way up, full of potions. They all seem quite securely inside. Mm -hmm. On the middle of the table is a lot of glassware apparatus that seems very animated, but very bolted into the table, so it can't get off the table. Okay. The room itself is... So frustrated glassware. Frustrated glassware. There's a Bunsen burner up there, and there's little test tubes are marching around it, worshipping it like fire. Okay. There are other test tubes queuing up to little chemical dispensers, getting filled up with different chemicals and wandering about the place. Uh, the apparatus itself. Sure, nothing could go wrong here. Uh, it seems to have been doing some sort of elemental magic was going on within the apparatus at the time, as all four of the magical elements are I'm wandering about, happening in the room right now. Excellent. So the other side of the room where the staircase is is on fire. Uh-huh. Uh, quarter turn to the left of that, or I guess anti-clockwise, it is rainy and very flooded. Mm-hmm. Where you are standing is just very earthy and soily and dusty. Not really much else going on there. And to the right of you, you can see the shelves blowing around. It seems to be a very localised windstorm going on uh, in the other quarter of the room. Oh, okay. And again, not as much stuff is paying too much attention to you. It, you definitely think the apparatus has noticed you and is turning and seems to be shaking wildly <laughs> and bubbling okay. very, very angrily. No kind of immediate threat to my companions who will be joining me shortly. Nothing immediate right now. Okay. Or at least they don't seem to mind spiders. <laughs> cool. I will, I will hang here then and uh, wait for my companions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, New round, I think. Yeah. You guys again. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm... yeah, the nails are not much of a... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm going to see if I can sneak past the hammers... But the the hammer and saws without being noticed. Mm. Yeah, because there is still hammer on the stairs. Oh, to decide what it's, it's going, going to do. It's very indecisive. Yeah. Yeah. Very, so very I'm going to try and sneak past them while they're a bit distracted. Two difficulty. Uh, yes. I do not sneak past the other hammer. I fail with an advantage. 
Okay, so you see it coming, you'll get a boost on your next attack against the hammer, as you realise the hammer has noticed you, and turns to go for you. The saws are just ignoring you, then happily cutting through into the stairs. Excellent. Um, sorry. Just going to have some water. Ah. Uh, hammer time. Hammer's going to... Hammer's going to... attacking me. <laughs> the hammer uh, sees the messenger. a nearby nail and flicks up and attempts to fire the nail at you by hitting it very hard in a type of volley attack. That's just rude. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very Squeak. close to you, though, so it Squeak. is a ranged attack. Uh, but it'll be more difficult because you're so close. <laughs> I mean, it's ill advised that it try this. <laughs> What could go wrong? It's not very accurate. However, rule it's like cool. The Pam is doing a tennis serve right now. <laughs> Colin can see the dice. He's like, you're going to be fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that goes well wide. <laughs> and just embeds itself into the staircase. His dice pull. You're like, it's not even close. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that was the hammer's attempt at firing nails. It's not an nail gun. It's no good. Um, so you you guys get to go again? Um, I'm probably going to carry on making my way up. Yeah, you, they're already ignoring you. So you join on the other floor? Yeah, I'm starting to look around. And uh, I'm going to roll a perception test for some test tubes. <laughs> That's my favourite sentence. <laughs> perception test for the test tubes. Awesome. Okay, so... Just the one... Uh, nope, does not notice you yet. They are not perception tubes. No. <sighs> um, do you want to... What do you think? Uh, is there... Like, where is the next, like, exit to go to continue higher up? Fire? It's on Which the other corner? side of the staircase. It's, it's, it's on the, the fire. It's the quarter on fire. Right. So the staircase is always the opposite quarter to mm-hmm. where you rise up. So it's almost like if the spiral staircase was spread out. Okay, so itself. we've got our... Yep, you're in the center. that we just came up, it's which is the earth. earth. Yeah. Then we've got wind Air. here. Wind is there. Yep. And then the fire. fire. And then And then the water. other wet. <laughs> I've got two. It'll be A rather than W. Yeah, well, there so we so go. So there's a big bench in the middle. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, which is where the angry glassware is. Angry glassware <laughs> is. The test tubes up there about the place. And I say, and then shelvings, rackings of potions mm-hmm. up alongside the walls. Okay. You would probably have most knowledge of this one as a gatherer. As okay. you bring stuff to here. So you'd have some idea maybe what's in the room. Or cool. things that could be in the room. Nice. There's stuff. <laughs> there is magical stuff. There's magical stuff in this room. <laughs> what stuff in this room could I use to make myself fireproof? I mean, there's water would would be my starting point to get myself very, very wet. But is there anything like there cloths or anything so we could wrap ourselves in sodden in, cloth? Oh, in sodden cloth. I was thinking, that. I'm pretty sure cloth's flammable. But uh, there's a lab coat hanging up on a coat hook somewhere. Awesome. Nice white wizardly lab coat. Are the elements kind of sentient-ish themselves, or are no, they? No, so just... it's like the apparatus. Sorry, so the apparatus comes up and it's got four spouts on it. Uh-huh. So the and elements seem to be blasting out, out of these spouts. Right. Okay. So the glass itself seems to look like it's very tied in with retort stands and clamps. Uh-huh. So, so we couldn't turn it. You think you might be able to manipulate it? So turning the fire one away from the thing so we can get past. That could be a possibility. I say it's on the table as well. So there are saws downstairs or, let's say, potions in the room. There's lots of magical, liquidy things. I don't want to go and mess around with with the saws. <laughs> they, they look scary. And the hammer's got it in for me. <laughs> but for me. They've all got it in for me. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's lots of different magical things. Well, really conveniently, this seems to be the safest quarter of the room. Yeah. For now. Hmm. Um, I'm going to come down from the wall and make my way to the table in the middle of the room. So you're going to try and crawl yep. up the table. Well, I think there. I'm going to make my way up there as well. Okay. Do you want to go for another stealth? Just see if the test tubes... For to the just... sake of argument, yes. Okay. Yeah. Stealth. Stealth for the... Although we should get you being another check soon because I'm aware I'm just making you roll stealth checks and perception. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am a, I am a, a spider, spider. You yeah. are a sneaky small yeah. spider. 
What's the difficulty for the stealthy stealth stealth setup? This is going to be hard now because the test tubes are very defensive of the table. Okay. Uh, uh, stealth. It looks like you stealthed. I kind of stealth. Two, two successes, two threat. Two successes, two threat. So the test tubes have not paid any attention to you. You successfully got up to the table, but uh, you've got some little rat-sized splinters in you going up, so Aww. you strained yourself going up the table. So, so you two string. Things. Two string. Okay. Things. Many. Many. So you, you succeeded. get one success. The net upshot of that is one success. <laughs> Everything else cancels. Do okay. you get on top of the table without being noticed? Without spotted? upsetting the test tubes. Yeah, this is it's pretty good going. I thought they were going to be raining hell down on you guys by now. Uh, Roger. Uh, can I kind of Even. grab the hammer and... The hammer's actually just wandered off. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's got oh. bored of you. <gasps> it's just like, it's gone back chasing some nails as they started spinning by. Excellent. I'm going to pass up the opportunity. You're going to spin around and dart up the stairs. You run successfully kind up of bang, bang, bang. It doesn't even matter if the saws notice you. It's like, Psh, you're gone. Sloppy <laughs> after a goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Join your companions on the third floor in the chemistry lab. You can see they're both up on top of the table. And uh, the room seems to be on fire at that end. <laughs> okay, where's... What's in the room... I see you looking around. Okay, so as you go and look around, you've got this table in the middle, this large set of glass apparatus tied down, so, and you see these four spouts at the top. Uh, one spurting fire, you've got water appearing out of nowhere. It's very, very wet and slippery over there. Uh, it might hinder someone's movement, unless perhaps they were used to a watery environment. Uh, so going up the sides of the room, you've got some shelving, and it's full of potions of different colours. Um, there are... Some things are labelled... There is a wide variety of magical things here, and kind of different indexing if you want to search for particular things. Okie dokie. Um, it is well stocked. So I see the lab coat. Where is the lab coat in relation to me? So the lab coat is in the windy section of the tower. So you can see it blowing away on the coat hook. So it's uh, clockwise, I guess. Around. No, anti-clockwise around. I want to go to the lab coat and kind of grip onto it with my hands and my teeth and try and... Okay. It down. It's hard to move uh, through the windy area, so it's actually going to be an action to get across All right. to I'm the kind of area. Staying low to try and avoid the worst of the wind. Yep, so crouching low, and the wind's just blowing about, getting in your eyes. And could you roll stealth check as well? But <coughs> say, uh, it's another harder one, sorry, another purple dice. Oh, it's doing so well. I <coughs> succeed with a disadvantage. Okay, so. They don't notice you, but you take a strain as you're trying to hide away from them. You're getting a bit battered by the wind. Just a little bit. Um, I think the test tubes are going to notice a rat on top of the table <laughs> at this point. <laughs> there, there's probably a limit. To be fair, they're probably going to notice a, 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 a saucer-sized spider on top of the table <laughs> as well. It's a large spider. <laughs> so uh, the test tubes look like they're starting to investigate you. Uh, one of them looks like it's gearing up, ready to throw itself. So, how about a coordination check? Agility? And then man, it gives a little rat dodge. Okay. Uh, easy difficulty. <laughs> yes, one success. So, the test tube full of liquid flings itself at you but goes high and you watch as it trails across the room and it smashes on the floor and as it smashes on the floor it chemical offs <laughs> it poofs what does magic do give me a magic sound puffs it puffs a what does it puff I don't know it puffs pink glittery cloud of smoke very stickiness seems to cre- across the floor. You suddenly see like lots of dust stick to it. A rogue nail from elsewhere goes across it and suddenly gets stuck to the floor there. But you do notice the other test tubes have different colours in them, so perhaps they don't all have the same concoction inside themselves. Hail! <laughs> Hail indeed. <laughs> uh, let's go for initiative, actually, in this room. So, we can do an initiative for test My initiative. Tests. Yes. Ooh. One success. One advantage. Two and an advantage. You've got better initiative than me. Why <laughs> would test tubes? Uh, 
I've forgotten Nothing. how we do this again. You roll one blue green die, basically. Yeah. Okay. I roll two green die. That's probably why. Yes. Yes. We're we're we're. You're the combat side of the table. Otters are famed for their combat prowess. I feel slightly more so than that. Although you know. <laughs> See, fearsome beasts. <laughs> that is very cute. <laughs> okay, so uh, how it works? The test tubes basically are kind of one large thing, but because they have to fill up and go for you, they're kind of a minion group of one. Okay. Although there's a lot of them, but they're not only going to go for you when they're full up. The apparatus has also noticed you and is jingling. Angrily trapped in its clamps. Can it notice me? Uh, so I was kind of stilting along the floor. You're over there. Is m- m- paying probably much mostly more paying attention to the two of us. Two the of fact us. that I just shouted "Hail" in the middle of the room probably helped your stealth check a little bit. <laughs> probably would have done. <laughs> uh, I got one success for each of them. What did you guys get? One success and an advantage. Cool. One success. Just a success. Well, I got two and an advantage. Okay, so it's going to be. Three of you guys, and then two of my guys. As you jump out, and I'm going to write it down properly this time. So, so this apparatus <clears throat> in the middle of the table. Yes. What exactly? Like, how big is it? It is. And you said it's, it's about spewing out the four foot high. It's okay. got different condensers coming out of it, so it takes up a lot, a good size of the bench. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like a Bunsen coming up. It's under flame. Yep. Condenser tubes coming down. It's got reflux capacitors <laughs> <laughs> one of those round glass ones that you can't put down because it'll always fall over yep. and then spiraling glass tube going out kind of so almost okay. like a neck and a head so then the head itself is these kind of four spouts which yep. are then spewing out the elements like one of those angry statues like an angry statue mm. Okay. Maybe we can turn it's off the bunch and burn and see if that you know mm. does anything useful in terms of artisticness Yes, there are uh, a couple of buns and burners under it as well, flaming away. Cool. Test tubes, worshipping. And then taps we can rip out. So that is the apparatus. Which of you guys would like to try and do things first? Where is the fire coming from? One the, the fire spouts. itself is one of the spouts. I okay, so does so you can that see there's kind like of like a an air. tap? On it, or the spouts okay. themselves, themselves are just open. As far as you can see, it looks like one chemical apparatus with the fluid bubbling up to the top, mm-hmm. and then it just seems to be splitting okay. separately into these four different elements. Mm-hmm. Perhaps some sort of elemental separator or other magical MacGuffin. This. Yep, cool. it sounds like it might be. <laughs> There's a box of MacGuffins on the windowsill, cooling. Like. <laughs> Delicious. They look tasty. <laughs> I must have one. <laughs> uh, well, one of you guys should probably go first because yes, it looks probably. like you're in a slightly more threatening situation. Um, okay, I am. Go- How many of these test tubes are there? There are quite a lot of racks of them, so a lot of them are just kind of sitting in the racks, rattling. But they are currently underneath the tap, and they're kind of queuing up to take their turn to fill up underneath the tap. Okay. So it looks like an almost inexhaustible supply of test tubes. Right, so I but won't they are try and exhaust the supply of test tubes. Carefully waiting their turn. <laughs> I am instead. Can I can I turn off the tap they're filling up from? Is that an option? Well, it's animating itself, so it's turning on and off as the test tubes are coming underneath yeah. it. Well, in which you case, can try and grapple onto it. Fire then! I shall deal with the fire. You go for the fire. I'm going to go after the Bunsen burners. Okay. I'm going to try and turn off the power underneath this. Okay. Uh, so you're going for the gas bottles. It's definitely gas bottles, magical gas bottles, that's a thing. Sure, I'm just going to try and... Magic bottles. Magic because because bottles nothing possibly could go wrong with me trying to disconnect the gas bottles. No, so there's a gas bottle underneath the bench. You can follow the pipe round to it yeah. quite easily enough. Turn it off or disconnect it or something. Okay. Definitely turn it off and disconnect it. Okay, so this is definitely made for humans, and that yep. is even a, a difficulty thing set up in the book. So awesome. go for a... Oh, can I look at your skill sheet? Sorry. Can I look at... This is going to be quite tough because it's probably it's, going to be that thing I don't a- have. Athletics, if it's kind of strengthy based, it's born. or coordination for trying to yeah manipulate it. I'll let you go for either coordination or your brawn. So you can either try and muscle the tap. I think I'll so, probably go with coordination because I actually have agility. So the pipe <laughs> is kind of classed onto, and you see there's like a safety mechanism so yeah. to keep that on. So you could probably yeah. maybe just strengthen the pipe off, or you can try and 
I say go for the coordination to try and turn the tap itself. I'm going to go coordination because I actually have some dice. Okay. So that's probably the safer option to actually try and turn the tap itself. Yeah. So this is going to be hard. This is a really stiff tap. Believe! And your little rat paws clamp onto the tap and you swing your rat body around. That is many, One success. Many purple. Two sweat. So you give it a quarter turn, and you know it probably needs a half turn to fully disconnect and turn okay. off the gas. And what was the threat? Two. And so you have taken strain for that one. How much? So two strain. Okay. I'm I'm really building up, racking up the strain here. You're exerting your rack. I am on six strain. But you're doing so well. Yeah. Okay. Um, your turn. Hmm. Is there anything hanging from the ceiling in here? Like. I don't know, buckets or vials or there are like assorted herbs things. things kind herbs. Of drying. Mm. Yeah. Very, so very dry. Except <laughs> those ones. Apart yeah. from those ones. Those ones are not dry. Any that are over by the staircase yeah. have been long incinerated. <laughs> and any that are over in the water area are not dry. <laughs> Otherwise, variations, herbs and flowers that are hanging up and drying. From the sea. Mm. And dangling down. They're probably within a, a thwip. <laughs> <laughs> a thwip? I think I give you webs. Um, I think on your other side you might have webs as a skill. Or you've got benefits to climbing. I have... I just realised something. I have fearsome. I'm silly. <laughs> Unseen hand. I forgot you had that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to manipulate a thing that's designed for a human. <laughs> Unseen hand. <laughs> I'll try that next time. It's a stressful situation. It is. Forgot. It is. I forgot. I forgot the thing. You're only a simple familiar. You can't be remembering what little cantrips you've got. I have Fearsome and Wall Walker. Oh, Fearsome's like if you meet humans and they get freaked out by spiders. <laughs> You're very good at climbing up walls. As, as demonstrated. Yep. Yes. You've been using May that. May treat them as normal terrain. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, they are. <laughs> spiders. You're like, why do you guys even find this hard? <laughs> Who can't climb up walls? Yeah, no, I was, I was trying to think if there's some way that I could kind of get up and and swing something into something to knock it over. Oh, okay. So, I mean, there's lots of, like, potions of jars and things mm. along the sides, so, and mm. there are definitely pivot points up there. There's, like, yeah. little rafter points. So, I, might, I might climb up and see if I can find a suitable spot that might be useful for that kind of thing. Shoot one while, uh, while my um, compatriots... Okay, yep. So, you look around and you can see over in the... Well, your choice either in the watery side or the windy, blowy side I shelves. would rather... Um, hitch myself up probably if I go up well I can't go up from where I am so I would go from the earth bit and then round the wall of the air bit yeah. up into the ceiling and then once I've I don't know sorted out enough rope or something up there yeah. to swing down using the air to blow around and across into the water bit, maybe. That sounds like but a I'd rather idea. not be in the water bit, ideally. No, because we all know what happened to Intimacy Spider. So. Yeah, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> I'd have to come upstairs past those swords again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you climb up onto the mm-hmm. top there and you see lots of tasty potion jar shaped things mm-hmm. that you can use. I shall investigate. Yes. Okay, so Drinks. I'm going to kind of jump up, grabbing at the coat with my ha- little hands and my jaws and cool. try and. Pull it down. Go for a coordination and it's on a hook, so make this hard. Uh, no. <laughs> Did you get any uh, I fail and get a disadvantage. <laughs> you, you climb up and then slide down and get stuck <laughs> in your pocket. It, <laughs> in the same way that things go for you and fall through the fur, you went for the coat and it kind of flapped out because it was mainly Stop. underneath the bar or elsewhere. So take a strain as you thud into the floor. Okay, a test tube mm. is going to try and fling itself. Uh, after the cacophony of the lab coating, it's going to try and throw itself off the table towards you. <laughs> so basically, they're little kamikaze test tubes, and they go like, ah! <laughs> they make a little whistly sound. Maybe. <laughs> sure, why not? Yep, yeah, where did I write down my throwing rules? I don't know. Go. Okay, oh yeah, we haven't really done anything with story points as well, so we should have had... Story points at the start of this to flip around. Well, I... Yeah, so what would you do? You'd have had three each 
and I get one, I believe. I think it's how it's it, Does it work like the Star Wars? It doesn't go with rolling. I think it's the players get the uh, one each, points, and then the GM gets one. Okay. I believe so. It's just tokens. Uh, so you might have abilities that are used as story point. You can upgrade a roll. Okay. And damage. That was kind of important. I should have mentioned that ages ago, realistically. Well, we haven't needed them yet, so I'm so sure it's fine. So they let you turn a green up into a yellow. Or mm-hmm. I can turn a purple up into a red. Yeah, I'll check. use those. A red! So when the yeah. testers throw themselves at you, you can upgrade or downgrade the roll. So essentially it just kind of throws at you, and then we kind of see... So you get to try and make a dodge, and then we see what the effect of the potion itself is. So it might not necessarily be bad. It could be a good potion. Okay. Could be a very random potion. You are being attacked by a potion of randomness. <laughs> you are. His name is Leon. <laughs> <laughs> So, this, I mean, this is just like a weird mechanic I tried to create for Go for it. itself anyway. So, it's just going to do a fling at you, which is those. Okay. The kind of accuracy. How accurate is this potion of flinging? It's not very accurate at all. So, it uh, misses wide of the mark and smashes against the floor. And it is... It, it, it looks great. Like, golden, beautiful light, and little radiant singing comes out. We go like, ah, there's this little liquid just kind of mm-hmm. sepping on the floor. It doesn't look like a bad liquid. Well, it when also Mistress missed... makes good spells, it looks like a good spell. <laughs> but it has missed you wider than mine. It also missed completely. It did also miss completely. Cool. Uh, the apparatus itself now, rattling. I feel like I should have glass in them. Glass jars. Like, yeah. It's good. I like that. It's very, very angry, you guys. It is not happy. It's not very manoeuvrable, though. <laughs> Good. So, but it is bolted to the table. So. It is bolted to the table. What a shame. Good thing, because otherwise it might turn that flame to on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So it's just yeah. going to go for a uh, rangy chemical, try and spray something out of the top, like a little volcano thing. At? At it is going to try and go. You're underneath the table. So I'm underneath the table. Towards you. Uh, it's, oh, you're high up. So it's going to shoot in the windy area towards you and try to steam blast some chemicals over there. At the wall. <laughs> it does not, uh, and it sprays uh, onto itself and uh, it starts to dissolve one of the next test tube that was waiting in line. So it'll be more disadvantaged the next time it tries to fling itself out. It is a very angry apparatus. Um, back round to you guys again. I would like to use Unseen Hand to try and turn this woman tap. That's probably a good idea. So that's an easy arcana check, so one purple. And your intelligence. Because I have no arcana. You have no arcana. Why you're you're just a simple rat for gathering things. I get one success, one advantage. Cool. Can I recover a strain with that advantage? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Such is your focus. And uh, your magical hand comes out, and it twists the tap, and the bubbling goes off. And you see some of the uh, the apparatus seems to die down. It had two flames underneath it, and you see there's definitely now less activity going on there. And the intensity coming out of the top seems to reduce, spraying out the elements. They're still there, but definitely lessened. Yay. Good. So, if I'm climbing around on a shelf full of things... Yes. What kind of interesting things do I find on the shelf full of things? Let's have a roll and let's see what kind of interesting things uh, that you well, find. What kind of a roll would you like, sir? It's going to have to be more of a knowledge. I... Humans? Spellcraft? Hmm. Well... Law? I love humans as a knowledge. Alchemy skill. is a skill. I don't Alchemy have it, but it is a skill that it's, may be relevant and this sounds more uh, accurate. Otherwise, okay. uh, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing hugely. Alchemy, law, spellcraft. <laughs> uh, perception for finding things, streetwise for knowing what stuff is. Probably not. Probably spellcraft that's law. That's about spellcraft law. Oh, that's all the way spellcraft down there. Spellcraft knowledge, odyssey. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's all on in, which is one. So green. I guess. Okay. So if you want to look for a jar to throw, mm-hmm. I'd say that's going to be perception because you want to look for just the right type of jar that you mm-hmm. can swing around. If you want to know, if you just want to try and read labels, then I go for law. Before I start launching jars around, I'd quite like to know what's in them. <laughs> right, okay. 
So, yeah, what do we say? Law spellcraft? That's potion yeah. of supercharged element. <laughs> no, post- potion of flammable. <laughs> well, that's not going to put that out. What's this? Um, what's napalm? <laughs> so, it's easy difficulty, so one purple. Okay, so you want, I was under you the bed table. Uh, law humans. No, law, law spellcraft. Law spellcraft is still the same role. It's one in. And one, one purple. Some. One no. disadvantage. One threat. I have found some things that are probably not very useful. Okay, so the wind batters you as you're actually focusing too much on trying to read the jars mm-hmm. and you fall down two shelves. <sighs> catch yourself. No one saw that. No one saw the spider fall off. No. I actually didn't. I was underneath the table. So I also didn't. Yeah. No, so really saw that. You get still. I'm going to try and Go for this Lamco. Leap up and grab it again. Go for it. Uh, you Standard are more nemesis. wise in the ways of the lab coat. So, uh, what was the difficulty last time? Three. Three, two this time. Okay, so I'm okay. aiming. I'm kind of slightly more aimed. Yep. So <laughs> leap. I am wise. Um, You've like definitely it. got the lab coat. Uh, I fail with an advantage and I have a triumph. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you still fail or the triumph is. Succeed. Yeah, I think you no, still fail, but I, I, you get I, the cool stuff. Of okay, the so you jump up, and you manage to unhook the lab coat as it's falling down. So it comes off, but your grip loosens on it, and you lose it in the wind. But it blows all the way round into the watery section on the other side of the room and splashes down over there. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you are still where you are. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay. So I think that's all of us. Okay. Uh, Next test tube is going to try and tube has launch a, itself. has a black die. And it's going to try and launch itself at a spider that it just saw fall off a bookshelf. Nobody saw that. No. How many the test tube did? It doesn't have eyes. It doesn't have eyes. We don't know how these <laughs> Where it's going, it doesn't need <laughs> eyes. Uh, okay. okay, maybe it does. So propelled by a wind... It lands on it me. Fails it fails horribly. It fails horribly to hit you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say it blows backwards and is. Let's see. Goes what under type the table instead. Advantageous. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it sprays all over the rat underneath the table, ah! giving you a vitality boost and filling you with energy. So you heal two strain. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a boost on your next action. Nice. You, hear, you hear a small shill, a shrill cry of HELL! <laughs> <laughs> so just the good potions. I should put more acid in these. <laughs> nope. No, no, I, I, then... I definitely think these are the ones we want. <laughs> I prefer this one to a vial of acid, yes. <laughs> and then the apparatus. The apparatus is uh, looking very angry. And it's going to try and do a volcanic spray up again. Spray up. <laughs> For the spider. Yep. Well, it's fine. I'm being a nice, nice, obvious target over here. You are. In the oh. windy section. And so I got one success, one advantage. <sighs> so some of the boiling liquid sprays onto you. One damage, but you've got soak, I think. I have one. You've got one soak, so it does nothing. Uh, <laughs> important to remember soak when you're working out your villains in these campaigns yep uh, uh, and it's advantage it concentrates the uh, acid delivery in the next test tube that's coming uh oh you guys again in your mischievous plans the FRS so, is not happening I've, I've, done the, I've done the turning off the Bunsen burner things which turns is one of them off there one is a the second one okay I'm going to go around to the second one okay so you leap across to the second one I'm going to try and arcana the thing because I've remembered I've got the useful spell of, of, of go for it arcana one success that looks good one success your hand comes out and you can manipulate a thing with it Turning off the tap. Turning off the tap. The other Bunsen burner comes down, and you notice that the elements do then recede. So it kind of stops. The fire's dying down. There's still bits of fire there, but otherwise the the hailing wind has stopped now as well, so there's no more crazy wind. The floor's still kind of wet, but it's no longer raining mm-hmm. excessively, and the dirt's just still there. <laughs> but yes, you have quelled the apparatus mm-hmm. beast. Uh, the Bird of Unexpected Awakenings will have more sweeping up to do. It's not going to really hinder you. You can dodge it, sorry. Sorry? 
this god of unexpected awakenings will probably have some more sweeping up today. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it looks kind of fairly safe. I mean, the apparatus can't entirely get. Part Can of I the run through the is golden still on fire? The... Little bits of it. Yeah. It could maybe become problematic. Can I run through the sparkly golden stuff? You can run through the sparkly golden stuff. Mistress likes sparkly things, so that's got to be good, right? She does, and you heal four stream. Oh, nice. Lovely. And I'm going to run towards the very wet lab coat. It we doesn't sh- hinder your movement at all. You, we should, you we slide should stop through the fire. your belly. Mistress doesn't like fire in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> so she likes fire in other places. Grab the wet lab coat. Yep. Okay. I, I will scamper over. I will scamper over and help you. So if we like grab an, an, a corner each and then pull it across, we can yeah. we can be either okay. side of the patch of fire that I'm we can. Kind of you can try and surf it across the floorboards. Um, wasn't quite my plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kind of grab, drag it with my mouth, using my legs to kind it of sounds move. Like a very easy, sensible solution. So I don't think that's yeah. going to cause you any difficulty at all if you drag that one through. So yeah, so you managed to sweep it across, dousing the floorboards that had managed to catch. And you're at the base of the staircase, which is not on fire. Yay! You are a couple of bookshelves up in a very non-windy bookshelf area. Is that pretty much everything back to semi-semblance of acceptable? But the apparatus is still angry and spitting at you. The test tubes are still queuing up. But they really... You can still try and throw things at them if you want. I'd rather probably continue. Okay. Do you guys progress Unless I found yeah. something specifically useful to throw at them, then I'll probably just leave. You can try and look for potions if you want. You can go over for another check and see if you find anything. Mm, sure. One of each. Uh, was that with you last time? Yes. So. Two failures, one advantage. No. <laughs> okay, so the advantage you can heal strain with it. That's it. If you take it any. I'm fine. You're fine. He's cool, shutting out. Mm. Cool, I'll just climb. No round. useful potions. They um, look like they're more trouble than they're worth. Must help Giblet. Mm, kind of bound Giblet. up the stairs. Bang, point, 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 point. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. The rat um, and the otter bounce up the stairs. We come up onto. The bedroom? The bedrooms. It's actually really quiet up here. You don't really think. The bassoon stopped. Might be happening. Mm. <laughs> There's a bassoon in a cupboard somewhere. Okay. It's not causing any trouble. It's just singing to itself. Yes. So, bedroom. It looks pretty quiet here. There's messy clothes over the place. They don't seem animated. The apprentices are very messy sorts. And the staircase is just there on the other side. Nothing wrong here. What could possibly happen? Everything's fine. You can do, like, perceptions if you want to try and investigate further, as it's suspicious. I am going to try and see where the threats are, because I don't trust all these clothes not to come alive and try and eat me. Okay. Yeah. What's the difficulty? Uh, easy. So just one. Upon arrival, Ooh. I will just tut and like shake my Very head. Much. Triumph. <laughs> one success off the triumph. So the tr- the success of the triumph and a triumph and two advantages. Okay. Two successes and an advantage. Okay. You suddenly realise pillows on the bed are actually floating and just circling around. You hadn't spotted before. They were just so quietly, silently floating around like clouds. But they just. They're just hovering around, and that's it. Okay, kind of stay stealth. low and <laughs> crawl around the corners. Stealth. Yep, you want to go for stealth? <laughs> Do not mess with the pillows. I'm a bit eager. You're a bit eager. <laughs> What's uh, the difficulty? One failure. Uh, just average. Stealth. I'm. S- <laughs> one success. That's not a stealth. Two threat. Okay. I successfully. You successfully stealth. Oh, you successfully stealth. But you scared yourself on a coat that was hanging up and not moving, but you thought it might have been moving. You should be rolling something else. I helped. Oh, let's be fair. Yeah. Two successes, one threat. Two successes, one threat. I'm a sneak. Okay, so you have snuck through. Carry on around the wall. One of the pillows just comes over and just starts floating above you, but it's not... Doesn't seem to be threatening in any way. It's just floating around. You. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of skulking around the edge and trying skulk. to go upstairs. Okay. Skulking, not sulking. Skulking, <laughs> Definitely not sulking. skulking. Skulking. Two seconds. And, um, eight, Sulking's eight, what Morgana will be doing later. <laughs> yep. Because the bell's upstairs, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so a pillow comes down and it nuzzles you. Oh, I can nuzzle it back. It feels nice. 
Pillows are soft. I like it. If the pillow could purr, you'd think it might purr. <laughs> Maybe it does. <laughs> Possibly it does. I mean, yes. with all this magic going on. But yeah. otherwise it looks like nothing else is going <laughs> to like gauge in any way. So. Great. We, we, snuck very past, to we snuck past the purring pillow. <laughs> yes. That was awfully threatening. Okay. Uh, as you now come out into the observatory floor... Is this where the bell is? This is where the dispel is. If you remember, the dispel is the, the magic dispel. bell. Which the is, dispel. Which is genius. Thank you. I was pleased when I came I do out. like the pun. So this is the observatory. So it's fairly empty as you come up. The dragon kite is here. Let's get the one out of the way first. Mm-hmm. So the room itself has a telescope inside. The roof is currently closed. It can sometimes open up. And there is a, a lever system. There's like three wheels. And you know, one of the wheels retracts the roof. One raises and lowers the telescope seat. And another one just swings the telescope around. Do we know which one's which? No. <laughs> awesome. You don't, you don't ever operate the telescope. Uh, the rafters are kind of open, so the roof is conical. So you can see up into the conical roof, and there are rafters across the ceiling. The dragon kite seems to be flighting. Floating? Flighting? <laughs> flighting, that's a word. It's kiting. In and out of the rafters, <laughs> circling around. Uh, Giblet is unconscious and seems to be hanging up in the strings, which have sort of disconnected themselves from the dragon kite. There are still strings dangling off him, though. And Giblet is just unconscious, hanging upside down. And the dispel is in the centre of the room, off the rafter. Now, if you were a human, it would be very easy to see the dispel and just reach up to it. You know the dispel doesn't have... Unseen hand! (laughs) The dispel doesn't have a clangor in it. Damn it. (laughs) And there is a particular hammer. It's a tiny, like a little toffee hammer that is somewhere in the room, and that's what you have to just thin against the dispel. So Giblet could probably get it for you. He must know where it is somewhere. Uh, in the room as well, you've got a desk on one side with some drawers in it. Oops. Uh, filing cabinet uh, with several drawers just off against the wall. And I believe that is it. I'm not sure I haven't missed anything. So we get Giblet down. We go and sit him in front of the kamikaze here. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a, a big metal ossery on the desk and a star chart, uh, and there are some candles which are unlit on the side. Uh, there is just kind of sort of a magical starlight radiance coming from the roof. That's how you can see. So the drunkite just seems to be kind of passive, like it's just sort of flowing around up there. It hasn't paid you much notice right now. So our goblin friend is unconscious. hanging unconscious. Oh, oh he's semi-conscious. He's kind of mumbling like... <laughs> but his eyes are very much closed. Perhaps you can get to him? Shrug. Climb. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to climb up a wall? Also, I imagine an eight-legged shrug is probably quite cool. <laughs> it's kind of more of a bob, surely. <laughs> you could, like, ripple it like a wave. Oh, yeah. nice. I'm, I'm going to try and climb up to Giblet, because... Why not? What are you going to climb off? If he's hanging in the middle of the room, so there's quite a gap between him and the floor. Uh, the telescope does kind of extend off up into the I'll right. climb as far as I can, and then I'll jump over. Okay. I've, 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 rats can jump. I'm going to need a climb check to get on the telescope, though. Climb so is athletics? He's still tangled up uh, in string. Probably, yes. yeah. He is kind of wrapped up. In What's the difficulty? Difficulty is six. going to be average. Six. It is six. <laughs> six. <laughs> it's a, a formidable climb. <laughs> I am going to break my neck here. Um, I get a grand total of two threat. <laughs> Are you trying to you six? Oh, I, I got a got bi- I got a no, no. I got an advantage in three threat, so okay. two threat. <laughs> that was well, not you, a good one. Failed to climb the telescope. You just didn't make a lot of progress. So you hopped up onto the seats. Uh, so you took a strain for the effort to get up there. There's, I say it's a very slippery, tubular type of thing. Bits of the mechanism are greased up. So you're in your seats. So you're almost directly underneath the dispel, though, by being on the seats. And uh, the three wheeled handles to manoeuvre the mechanism are kind of right next to you as well. Okay. Can I look and look around and see if I can spot the hammer? You can. So do a perception check. Difficulty. Uh, Twenty. I mean, it's, you're just looking around, aren't you? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go for average. Yeah. A threat. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Okay. Not very much. So you look Some around. Some of us don't have eight eyes or <laughs> millions of eyes. It's definitely not out in the open. It's going to be away somewhere, or it's not visible from where you immediately are. You feel the dragon kite is taking a bit more notice of you. Of me? 
Okay. The group in general. <laughs> okay. Um, knowing that uh, the spider is trying to get up to Giblet, I'm going to start s- uh, squeaking for the dragon kite. Oh, you okay. know that that kind of <laughs> kind of noise that oh, otters do it, make. Do it again for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really imitate an otter. No, it's good. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I'm, yeah, I'm going to start doing... I'm just going to be sitting there looking at the dragon kite and... Yeah. We're giving it a good old... Intimidating. <laughs> Basically, I, I'm trying to get its attention. Okay. Uh, Come pay attention to me. Ignore the spider. <laughs> I'm happy with that. We can roll initiative now on that. Misha two. Two successes. My best initiative of the game. Because nope. it's actually the best it's I can the same get. As me. <laughs> Okay. The dragon kite is has a lot more dice for initiative than I did. Got a lot of advantage. <laughs> a lot of advantages. And the, the dragon kite's like a proper enemy. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly regret my plan. <laughs> We're doomed. Doomed. I tell you. But you didn't roll too well. Okay. So so what did everyone get? I got two. You got two. Okay. I got two. Two. One. One. Uh, any advantage? <laughs> okay. So it's going to be two slots for you guys, dragon kite, and then you guys again. Okay. So um, I, I got one and all of the advantages. <laughs> it wouldn't actually be possible for Sam to have got enough advantages to, to go ahead of that. <laughs> but I wanted to check so I knew that I did it. On one die. <laughs> okay, so I'm still getting used to tracking combat. That's what though, I found the most challenging thing in all of this, is actually tracking cool. maneuvers. Okay, so, so the Dragon Kite has definitely noticed you. Its papery eyes kind of glance down at you, so it's like big snouty heads, and then two papery claws flappy open mouth and they kind of just this kite sections behind it I'm going to suggest you two first because I'm nowhere useful um, I'm going to I'm sorry All right. who's like just climbing you're climbing you're climbing up the wall or are you yeah. going to try and climb the telescope climbing no, up the well, wall where, where is he Jim is right like, is kind of pretty much to just the... off centre so if you imagine you had like a cross beam going through the bell comes off the middle cross mm-hmm. beam and Jim is just slightly on the far side kind of hanging off so I can just go up the wall and then come down whatever he's you can do that by. one so that would take you so let's say it's a manoeuvre to get up to that section and then another one across before mm-hmm. you get down there so you could get nearly on top of him in one turn. okay I'll do that. Okay, so you scamper away yep. up the walls. You climb up when you're above, up and in the No, rafters. no, no. These guys scamper. I skitter. You skitter. So, <laughs> so you skitter up there. And the dragon's kind of, as he's circling around, you see him kind of go underneath you, but he's not yep. paying too much attention. He's, he's, he's kind of weaving he's in and out of the rafters. Paying attention to my squeaky around. friend. He is looking down at the squeaky friend. Can you put the otter up on the camera again? Yes. I think everyone wants to see him. <laughs> so Such a handsome nose. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, you guys again? Okay, so I'm going to kind of try and get under something to make it awkward for the kite, but I'm going to keep squeaking yeah, no at it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Too much fun. It's definitely fixating on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really just trying to keep it away from uh, Nana. Okay. Uh, the dragon kite is going to swoop down. If it could draw, it could draw. It can't breathe fire, but if it could, it would be breathing fire right now. I'm really glad it can't. It makes an angry rustling paper noise. It, could, it, could, it probably couldn't breathe fire more than once. <laughs> yes. Being oh. made of fire. <laughs> Being made, 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 made of paper. Yes. It would probably not successfully <laughs> breathe fire more than if once. If it has any vulnerabilities, fire is it. At least I'm wet. <laughs> so as it moves around, it then suddenly dives down towards you. And mm. it comes slashing in at you with its claws. Like a paper cut. <laughs> so, uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Sorry, as I grab my dice. Does it get, does this is more complicated than my other villains. Does it, sorry, does it get a black like, guy for me Let's say because positioning you, myself? You know that you're cut. It's well, I, I'm you, positioning you're my, under, for it. I'm under, I'm under something. I'm trying to get its attention, but I'm trying to stay. What are you under? A table? The desk? There's a desk in the corner? A desk? Yep. Accepted. Oh, okay. That's a lot of nothing. That is a lot of nothing. <laughs> Depends what it's a nothing on. It's one 
for it. Because black, black nothing, a purple nothing, uh-huh. and yellow nothing. Yeah. Perhaps the it, yellow, the yellow perhaps came it hits up the table as it, it comes down. It bounces off the table. Yeah, so it just comes down for you. It misjudges completely, and its claw gets caught up on the desk, so it went Ooh, to come under you. So it might be easier to But it didn't realise how wide it was, so it's clattered onto the desk, so it's still kind of hovering on you, but it's definitely looking like it's about to deflect away. Excellent. I would like to try and figure out... Which of these wheelie things does the different wheelie things? Okay, yep. So, knowledge human? So, intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us know about humans. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So, intelligence. <laughs> I'm a genius. What's the difficulty? Uh, let's just go for average. I would like to know which of the wheelie things does the different wheelie things. Because if I'm going to end up using a telescope as a weapon... <laughs> list of things I didn't anticipate. <laughs> <Come What>? <laughs> Why did you not anticipate that? I get nothing. You Just nothing. flat nothing. You got okay. one of each. Just I got one of yeah. everything. <laughs> uh, but if you do do it again next time, you have a bit more okay. to it. Kind of <laughs> and you go spend some time going like... <laughs> With your little rat brain looking at the wheels, looking at the teeth and the cogs, clearly and distracted which wheel by the what. adorable squeaking of an otter. Yes, apparently. <laughs> okay, uh, background to you guys again. Now in Genesis, uh, Nemesis and adversaries can end up with an extra slot, but I'm going to see how you guys do before I just automatically give him two activations. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see how we go. Just so you've got a heads up. On. Okay. Who's doing what? Do you want to get to get to the goblin? Sure. Um, am I at him, or do I need to go down? Oh, to the goblin? Yeah. You can get to him in one manoeuvre, so that's easy enough to reach mm-hmm. him, so climb it down on top of him. And then as far so as... So he's kind of like, the strings are kind of wrapped kind of loosely. It's not really any kind of complicated. Though. I like kind to of think I'm up. probably quite good with tangled string. You are quite good with tangled string. I shall untangle things. him. Ah, uh, <laughs> that might wake him up. Let's see, coordination, so agility or, yeah. Yeah, coordination or your intelligence. I think whatever you feel is more spider like for un- unending webs. Uh, probably coordination. coordination. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's one of them and one of them. And, and then bubble. Uh, bubble? Uh, easy. Let's Just go for easy, yeah. It's not loosely tied up at all. Things. Success advantage. Success advantage. No disadvantages. Yeah, so just go one around him and I'll so one one just one to pluck it in such yep. a way it loosens up and then the weight of him just carries it down. And even lands kind of softly on the ropes. It's, yeah. He lands on something soft, his head. <laughs> <laughs> lands and he falls and he hits the floor. Mm-hmm. He's still unconscious, but he's no longer mm-hmm. tangled up in the rafters. It's a good start. Well done. Okay. Uh, which else would you like to go? I'm going to try and bite and rip its wing. Oh, you're going for the... Uh, you're going for it. Go yeah. for it. I'm trying oh. to bite it and rip its wing to make it harder for it to manoeuvre around. Okay. So, uh, again, this is a Genesis thing uh, to make Nemesis a bit tougher. He has a talent called Adversary, so you have to upgrade the difficulty of all combat uh, for one rank. So it'll be a purple and a red. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to aim you get your with advantage. my... Oh, you get with my light, and I'm going to actually spend one of the point things, whatever you yep. call them, to upgrade oh, yep. to another yellow. Cool. Uh, so, to jump I've up and tear at his paper face. Two successes and an advantage, and I get plus one damage, so three damage, pierce one. Nice. Okay. Yeah, just trying to tear at its wing to. Make it less uh, manoeuvrable in the air. So you do, you go up and go, and you just kind of well, it's swish my through teeth, my hands off, tearing, off. tearing, tearing yeah. tissue paper. I, I don't really have very sharp claws. You jump up and go through and, and you tear out a section, kind of around its midsection, just underneath one of its paws there, as you tear through and go into. It. And you're like, ah, this is like going through paper. <laughs> Because it's like, my it takes teeth off through paper. You still inside it. Oh no. And you got an advantage? I did. What would you like to do with that? Anything combat? You can recover strain. Uh, can I make it harder for him to hit someone next time? Yep. I would, I'll do that. So I'll give it a black die on its next. Well, there's meant to be two advantages. Oh, okay. Can I make it harder for it to hit me? Because mm. it has to fly away because it hit the desk. Uh. Yeah, so 
that's the same thing as giving it the setback. Oh, you mean upping the difficulty? Yeah, against me. Yeah, I'll up the difficulty against you. Yes. Cool. Okay, uh, the dragon kite is going to go... Yeah, it's not happy you hit it. He's going to... Oh, but he's not happy Giblet's gone down. He has no idea where you are. <laughs> uh, I'm just sitting on the... On the... He's going to swing and he's going to fly around and come up towards you. Because mm-hmm. you've just released his prisoner. Well, hey, okay. if he has. does that, he might wake up his prisoner. So, you know... Can do. <laughs> Poor guy's gonna roll over like groggily and open his eyes and then drag it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that's what I was going to be my extra activation. Yes. Oh, I didn't roll any difficulty. <laughs> I was, I was like, that's really good. <laughs> that's really like, good. Nothing bad's happened there. Okay. That's that's right. so three success though, and no uh, two threats. So he's hit you. Mm-hmm. He's crit you as well. Oh, uh, wait. Oh no, you use advantage to crit. Crit's on advantage. Oh, crit's on advantage. No crit. No crit then. You don't get to crit using threat. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I forgot how damage works in so Genesis. So what damage? It's damage it? three. So it's three plus successes. Three plus successes. Ouch. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's six. Man, I have a soak of one. You do have a soak of one. It's clobbered you pretty hard. Ow. So for five damage. Okay. So I take four. Ow. Yeah. Dragon kite, proper enemy. Yeah. Uh, but the Ow. threat, it's going to be disadvantaged on its next attack. Oh. For setback, I guess is how it goes. It's damaged wing. Take that. Yeah. I'm going to continue to try and figure out how this weird contraption works so okay. I can hit the dragon with the thing. What am I? It's intelligence and... Is it still two? You lower the difficulty now. You have a look at uh, One success, one advantage. Okay, so you worked out one of the wheels mm. uh, and you've got the advantage. So which wheel were you hoping to figure out? So the three axes of movement are the chair can go up and down, Yeah. the roof can open, or the telescope can swing around. I was hoping for swinging the telescope around to try and hit the thing. Okay, so you identify the swinging around. That's area. the swinging the telescope one. Yes. Awesome. Got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little wary about opening the roof because then this thing might fly away, and then who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have a, an ongoing <laughs> we're repeat, chase down the kite. repeating villain of this kite. Because that... you have to save the town's New Year's celebrations because <laughs> they can't be without their dragon kites. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to try not to open the roof and mess it out. Okay. But anyway, um, I've, I've figured out which one does that. Awesome. Yes. You got any manoeuvres if you wanted to move, or are you quite happy where you are? Uh, at the moment, I'm sitting still, and it doesn't seem to have noticed me or be paying enough attention to me yet, so I'm, I'm just going to sit still and well, look at things. It's more focus on the spider. For the moment, I am sitting still and looking at things, and okay. it can. it hasn't yet identified that I'm a threat. Possibly because I'm not a threat. Okay. <laughs> uh... And that was the last one in the round. I'm going to add in his extra activation. So his extra activation is just for his strings. They're going to, so it's not really a direct attack. So the strings are going to go for the otter. It's an opposed uh, coordination check. So what is your coordination? Uh, so that would be a... So for it, it will become a purple and a red? Yeah, purple and a red. Yes. And isn't it... Uh, plus, isn't it upgrading its difficulty to attack me from yes. my thing, so it becomes too red. And you'll have a setback from his threat from the last one when he tried to attack the spider. Yeah. I see a despair. That's a despair. I also see lots of good things for it as that's well. That's a good so. thing, that's a crit fail. That's an advantage, okay, so the success and the fail, so it's failed. Okay. And a despair. And a despair. Yeah, so they got lots of advantage, but they got a despair and it failed. Okay, so uh, strings come out to get you and entangle you, but they end up tangling around the desk instead. So it won't be able to get to use its strings in the next round of attacks, mm. as it's too tangled up there. But uh, it doesn't get to grab onto you in any way at all. Excellent. Uh, it's you guys again. What are you guys up to? 
Well, Giblet murmuring softly. Having thinking, been oh, having oh. been knocked for six, I imagine the spider is probably very small right now. <laughs> very cold. <laughs> probably on the floor next to him, and trying to. Mm, I think probably actually shouting at him as loud as spider could be, which is probably not very. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear but you. But I am right next to him. He can hear you. So, so yeah, can I can get you right poke up. Him, you can, you can like, poke, poke him in the... Yeah. And, poke and him in the if he, And if he doesn't wake up, I won't give him his teeth back. Okay, go for a... Uh, <laughs> go, go for a, a brawl check. But yep. you're not going to be doing any damage, so easy. Yep. Uh, brawl. To slap him about the face. Go on. Right. So, so one of them. Oh, down the bottom. Okay. And one of them. <laughs> Excellent. Give him a little spider slap. I hit him. He wakes up. And goes <laughs> up. <"Whoa." laughs> like, Nanny? Oh, wait, I've got Jimmy's voice wrong. Nanny? <laughs> <laughs> ah, kites! <laughs> and he's struggling to start to shake himself out and starting to loosen up. Uh, you can aid him. Yeah. With a manoeuvre to help him loosen up. Yeah. Okay, so you manage to I'm quite good at that. spring those out of him. <laughs> okay. Um, um, you guys still Otter? Um, I'm going to again start squeaking again. Squeaking. I'm, I'm trying to get the thing to again leave them alone because we need yep. Giblet to help. It turns its attention towards and you. I'm going to again sk- slink back under the desk. Yep. I mean, Based... the room's close enough. Did you want to go out for a bite and then? Fall oh, back can again? I actually? Yeah, you can dart out and come back. All right, I will do that. So he's all quite close calls and he's quite long. You can get through his tail while it's flapping around. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll try and bite out its bite its tail fin. Yep. So just one purple, one red. One red. This is the adversary oh, yeah. effect. He's the big boss nemesis. Um, I successfully bite him for two damage pierce one, but I get two threat. Two damage pierce one. Okay. But you got two threat. Mm, let's say uh, is that a bit strenuous my darting yeah so the dragon has performed one free manoeuvre so he uh, loosens up his strings no let's say he just moves he just manoeuvres closer to you so he's in engaged range so I bite him in oh so I don't take the strain or do I Um, I'm trying to remember what take for those or you suffer a setback on your next attack. That's probably be it. Yeah. So no strain, okay. but you'll get a setback on your next attack. Okay. Okay. So as you've bit, got bit paper and dance in. Stuck in your teeth. And... It's in your jowls. Ottery jowls. <laughs> Glittery paper. It doesn't taste good. It's putting you off. Uh, okay, that was the second one. Uh, the dragon kite is going to go for you, Roger. <clears throat> Sorry, Eden. Um, so you are... Why do we keep messing this up? So does it get it set back again? So, yep. I'm under a desk. You are under a desk. I got no success. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just, just butted off the desk again. No disadvantage, no threat. It's just, a good desk. Just nothing. It's a really good shield. Tactical otter. <laughs> There's a star chart laid down on the desk, and I think it's throwing its depth perception off because it thinks it's the sky, and it's not. Uh, you guys again? Okay. I haven't had an action this turn. I, I would like to use Mage Hand to spin that wheel and try and spin hit it with that a wheel. I'm going to try and hit the dragon with the telescope. Okay. You've got to cast Mage Hand. I've got to cast Mage Hand. So, Okay, now easy. You've got story points if you wanted to upgrade anything. I get one mm. success on casting Mage Hand. So you've cast Mage Hand, and you're going to spin the wheel. I'm going to try and hit... How do I... It sounds like it needs a test, because you're going to try and spin it as yeah. fast as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah. So, um... Coordination? I'd say it's got to be coordination, surely. Yeah. Can't or brawn, depending if it's stiff. I'd say because it's magical hand, so it's Mag- got the strength okay, to it, yeah. and the wheel doesn't have too much resistance to it. So, okay, yeah. so it's that to hit it. I would like to spend a story point to upgrade my attack. I would say this isn't a, like a brawn attack. I'd say it's just going to be an average oh. difficulty, so two purples. Okay. Because this is like I'd still like, to spend, a, I'd still like to spend a story point to upgrade oh, my you attack. Spend a story point. Because yes. Go for it. As the mage hand comes out and spins it around, around, around. No. Oh. Spins one failure, one disadvantage. And you realise the gearing on the telescope is just. 
it's too slow to be able to actually maintain any speed and it just does start to spin around it does spin but it's, it's just like, yeah. and you realise there's no way to spin that wheel fast to give that telescope any kind of hit oh. <laughs> but it was a valiant effort it was a nice idea it was a really good idea I did enjoy it <laughs> Okay, uh, the oh, strings are still tangled in the desk, so they can't do anything. Uh, and so you guys that go again. I bite it again. You go bite it again. Go for him. That little auntie. He's so cute. <laughs> so cute. With his cute funny and face. vicious. <laughs> cute and indeed vicious. Oh, um, I Did you failed. Need to roll a black one. Yes, because okay. of the. My oh, from last thing. time. Yes. I failed, but with an advantage. <laughs> you failed, but with an advantage. Okay, so you can, get, uh, you can heal a strain, or you can get a boost on your attack. Or you've distracted it so you could give someone else a boost on something else they want to try and do. Um, I will give the boost to Nana trying to sort out um, Giblet. Yep. And with my maneuver, I'm going to just kind of, kind of, again, back right under the desk, trying to make it difficult for the cool. kite. You guys... I'm I'm is, is slowly awake? turning. Him. Giblet's awake and he's getting up and he's like, Wah! "What happened?" Because he took rather a nasty lump to the head, and he can see Eden fighting a dragon kite. The bell. What bell? <laughs> Point. Oh, <okay>. Several, <laughs> several legs. The legs kind of go. <laughs> he's like, "We need the hammer." Um, he goes, "I'll check the cabinet." You check, not the cabinet. <laughs> so he's going to run over and check the cabinet. Okay, and then I'm going to be not in the middle of the floor. Because <laughs> yeah. this is the worst place to be. Yeah, probably is the worst place to be. So you've got uh, the cabinets over on the wall. far side. There's a desk, obviously, where... Uh, wall. Wall. You're hiding up on the wall. It's a good place to go. Yep. You could go back down to the lab and look for heating potions. <laughs> it's probably not safe. No, nope, wall is fine. Not being on the floor is good. Don't like being on the floor. No. Not a good place for spiders. Okay, uh, the dragon's going for our otter friend. Me. Geek. <laughs> uh, every time. That was almost a good save. Do you know what? You should really use a dice rolling tray. Oh, wait. I, I don't have a <laughs> dice rolling tray. I just... Missed. You get too much so velocity. Enthusiastic. And it ends up coming out the other side. Okay, so I, I missed everything. I don't think I've got anything there. Have I got disadvantages? What's that black one? That that's the bad. setback dice. So that's... I've got three threat. So I've got two threat, basically. So he's got more setback to himself. Um, you get a boost against him, so you'll get a booster. Hey. As he just... Something wrong with his eyes. <laughs> well, he doesn't know where you are. I'm trying to get to the, through the table leg. Right? Yeah. I'm behind. It's basically, you're just, it's just too... It's like a desk that's only got that much clearance under it and he can't get under there with his claws. And he's getting very, very angry. Well, but the important those, thing is he's not paying attention. One of those kind of yeah. Chinese yeah. dragons. Their eyes are a bit kind of... Right? Yeah, so your depth that's perception nice. isn't great. It's all messed Poor up. Guy. You guys again. And they made a I'm time. going to try it. And it seems... Okay, Giblet doesn't know where the thing is. I was banking on Giblet knowing where the thing was, so I'm I going mean, to look he's, around he's for the thing. He's going to be quicker to look for it. But I'm yeah. going to go around... I'm going to go around... So he's looking in the cabinet. He's looking, yeah, he's gone towards the cabinet. You can see he's about to open up the drawers in the cabinet. I'm, I'm going to look at the table. See if I can see it amongst the stuff on the table. Okay, so... Uh, up on the table and perception. perception. Yeah. Difficulty. Uh, uh, average. Let's see if it's in there. Most of the cards are on the desk. Uh, it is. Well, if it is, I don't see it. I get one threat. Okay. Um, All of those dice. So you're not sure if it's there or not with the yep. one threat. There's just a lot of clutter okay. on the desk. Okay. The flappy dragon kite's probably a bit distracting. Yep. That's trying to attack something under the deck. <laughs> Just a bit. It, strings are going to go for you, so a coordination check again is required. So it's one black, one no, yeah, one black, one no, one purple, one red. Blah, words. And a black for my. So colors. it's a black and hidden place. purple and a red. Well, not hidden, covered. Okay. You failed again, two fails. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 that's a lot of good dice. Two success, <laughs> two oh, advantage. Oh, God. Okay, well, it's not doing any damage. Did it get it's the, just did entangling. Did it get the black die? 
Uh, it failed on the blank die, oh, so okay. that did help. Yes. So, I uh, entangled you. And did I write down what entangled did? I didn't. So we're just going to say you're hindered to movement, so it's going to cost you an action to move. I think that's a good ruling. Okay. <laughs> this late in the session, but a rule that I should have written down. So I can't move. Uh, and you could do a coordination if you want to fight it off kind of thing. Okay. But uh, yeah, otherwise it's just kind of the strings are around the desk now, so you can't get oh. out. It's kind of starting to cage you in. <laughs> so you're trapped in that one locale. Uh, background. Oh no, Giblet's going. So uh, Giblet is opening up the dresser drawers. Not the dresser drawers. What's the final cabinet? cabinet drawers. And he's going through. He goes, <gasps> I've got it! I've got the hammer! So he's got the magic hammer. He's got the magic hammer. He's got the magic hammer. Hail! Hail the dispel! And he runs to the middle of the room and he jumps up and he's like two inches shy of being able to actually reach the bell when he jumps up. It's just slightly out of his reach there. Um, where is the chair relative to... Uh, it's kind of... Uh, it was all in front of him. He hasn't thought to get onto the chair. <laughs> get on the chair! <laughs> it is your guy's go, so who wants to go first? Get on the chair! <laughs> you shout, get on the chair! Oh, okay! <laughs> so he's going to climb up onto I'm the chair. See if I can I'm not going to give him a climb check. I kind of feel like I want to give him a climb check. I want to see if I can figure out which of these which of these things would allow me to, once he's on it, lift the chair lift up. the chair up. Go for it. Uh, One success, one threat. Uh, you do know which one will raise the chair. Okay, great. It's, it's the blue one. <laughs> okay. It's the other one. You just know which one. Cool. So I spend a lot of time. Is it that one? It's, it's that one, right. Okay. Um, is that a manoeuvre or an action to figure that one out, I suppose? It's probably an action. It was an action. It was an action. Was an action. Cool, fine. Okay. Carry on. Uh, okay, so Giblet's climbing up on the chair. That was his action. Uh, oh, you went first on that one. I went. You guys again, just before the dragon gets to go in. Um, I'm going to try and position myself so it's harder for it to get to me again. Because you're going to guard and, yourself. But I am going to I'm going to make all the racket I can. I'm just going to be squeaking at it. <coughs> yeah. And constantly, it's but trying to... fixed on you, scrabbling I'm away. I'm really trying, trying to, to keep its focus. It yeah. is not happy with you. It hates otters more than anyone <laughs> has ever hated otters. <laughs> How could you hate this face? <laughs> After it kills you, it is going to go to Ottery St. Mary and burn that town down with the fire, doesn't it? That's how I, I much think it it's, it's going to have some serious issues at Ottery St. Mary because it's made of paper. <laughs> it's and, and, and what is Ottery St. Mary famous for? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't know that. It just doesn't like otters. Okay, uh, the dragon's going to come at you, bro. <laughs> But he's uh, he's set back. That one, uh, that one, that one. Can't hit otters. (laughs) (laughs) Just impressive. You're getting a bit of you know how Pete feels. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's the same thing. I was worried I'd roll really well, and I'd be like, why don't I roll this good in Woofrop? No, it's just something about. I mean, I got a threat, so he's going to be disadvantaged again on his. <laughs> or you can have a boost to your next action. Awesome. Yep. Yep. Okay. The, um, the non stop okay, squeaking at it clearly works. I feel like this is bringing it home now. <laughs> okay. You get to go. So Still you're going to. Where are you climbing up? Well, I was on the wall. Yep. But I'm not necessarily convinced that he will succeed in doing what he's trying to do with hitting the bell because. Giblet. So <laughs> I'm gonna climb up, and then if I need to, I can come down and nick the hammer, and then. Oh, well, you're already it on the wall. Yes, so but I need to be above. Like, need to be at the you, bell. You can get up to the bell yeah. for one maneuver, so you're you yeah. still have an action if you wanted to. Uh, I don't really have anything else to do particularly though, because I need. If I was going to ring the bell, I'd need to use the hammer, and he's got it. Yeah. And I don't want to be in the way for him to accidentally oh, hit me with the hammer, because I don't want to. So I'm hammer. just going to be up and out of the way, and okay. supervising. I, I want to bite the thing on the nose. <laughs> I'm trying to irritate uh, it as round to the end of the... That was... Oh, sorry. That, that was, was the last one. Oh, sorry. So the, sorry. the strings are going to go, but they're, they're happy tangling on the desk. Huh? Um, so we'll go for coordination again just to see if they break off. Um, so what was the uh, just want to bite its nose just to really piss it off <laughs> just, just to <laughs> pointy, it's being bitten by an otter is not going to be pleasant no. those things bite through shell pointy pointy teeth 
But it's not even just sharp, the power in the jaws is really quite nasty. Uh, you're not restricted anymore. <laughs> you managed to squirm out of the way. Yeah, the strings tried to come in to go in again to get you, but they've not managed to get into you, and as a result they've just kind of released, so you don't have any restrictions to your movements. Hey. Now can I bite it in the nose? Giblet is going to jump to try and hit the bell. Oh, of course, yes. Sorry, Giblet. Giblet gets a go. Uh, still slightly too short, like an inch. It's just an inch too short now. It's so close. Uh, How okay. tall was that chair? No one questions. <laughs> <laughs> He's not jumping as high. He doesn't want to jump on the it chair. It was a really small chair. He's really concussed, to be <laughs> fair to him. <laughs> it's fine. I, I'm about to lift the chair up. He's still you... not sure if this is happening. Okay, so you want you want to bite, bite it, it I want to lift nose. the chair. You've got to bite, on those, bite him on the nose. Go for it. Hopefully he won't fall off the chair while I'm lifting it. That would just be embarrassing. It's fine, that's why I'm back on. Like that. I'm plan B. Uh, I got three successes, no advantage. So I do it four damage with Pierce one. Unless I give it a vicious bite. That's pretty good. You, you've torn up a lot of this kite, so you bite it. Uh, Square on the nose. You know what you're saying about ruining New Year's? <laughs> <laughs> You, yep. You've wrecked ah. its face. This guy <laughs> is not usable for New Year's anymore. <laughs> so as you bite into its nose, you kind of actually crumple through a lot of it and you tear its lower jaw off as well. <laughs> and paperiness. <laughs> so it's kind of gone through. And I'm going to retreat it back into my little place, still holding its lower jaw in my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not, I, yeah, I'm so trying to, to make sure it looks at nothing else. <laughs> You're probably doing you have his attention. Right. I am going to try and mage hand <laughs> the other dial. Come on. I won success you mage hand. Mage hand. Well I won success mage hand. Yep. Unseen hand. Okay, and you're going to spin the telescope. Spin the seat. No, I'm trying to lift the... You're trying to lift the seat. Lift the yep. seat. You start lifting the seat and Jim's like, oh, watch out for giblets. But he holds on fine and he raises him up enough that he's definitely going to hit it now. And he's like, oh, yes, that'll do it. And he brings back the hammer and smashes it against the bell. And there's just kind of a, a one, doo, and then silence. And you see a white cascading ring just come out in a sort of sphere as he just belts out and uh, it's just kind of followed by an unearthly silence and the dragon kite just collapses to the floor instantly uh, a few other noises and clattering you hear through the tower as stuff starts turning off uh, the roof on the uh, tower actually starts to open up itself and moonlight starts to streaming as the night's coming in and uh, everything just kind of goes deathly quiet hell Except him. <laughs> Who shouts hail as loud as he possibly can. <laughs> Which isn't very loud because he is still a rat. <laughs> the loud other bangings and crashing and noises coming from the tower die down as you've successfully dispelled everything in the nearby area. Hail the festival of the crumpled paper! <laughs> you climb up onto Giblet, he sort of helps carry you down as you go through, extinguishes any of the flames that might have still been happening. Pulls a saw out of a staircase. And as you get down to the bottom, you see Morgan comes back in, carrying bits of armour. She's like, I did it! She's like, I defeated the armour, and I clearly successfully dispelled everything in the tower by defeating the armour. That was what did it. You guys have nothing to worry about when I'm around. You should probably get cleaning this place up. <laughs> Hail! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Tisk. Sigh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got around soupy goodness yep. which gets to who you so that's kind of the end of it Yay. Um, that was my first time GMing that was really cool uh, was constructive cool. criticism in the comments below please <laughs> we might title this one how not to GM no I think that went well that went fine that was okay you and guys were very tame thank super you very cute. much <laughs> it was very cute <laughs> definitely should play yep. test and some I, combat I, better next and time and I drew you a map you did, <laughs> which is very useful because I cannot sketch for anything, which is why I didn't bring any sketches with me. Oh, I'm quite happy to doodle. Mm. Yeah. Many. Well, oh, that was that, really cool. Yeah. That was really good. Okay. Um, Sign off. Do we just say bye? Do we cap up what it is? Well, what happens at the end of it? I'm always just desperate to go to the loo. Usually. <laughs> Thank you for watching Garblad Games. Thank Don't forget much. to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on our various social medias. Pete, I'm sure we'll put links below. Yes. He's done this if you want to see more, let us know. Oh, Bye. yes, let us know.